Hey there guys, a daily PvP is on, you know, but uh, right now we'll not be going into ranked commentaries or anything like that. I will not even be playing uh, regular war zones. Well, I will be, but a little bit later. Instead, it's going to be another issue of Sorter uh, Tuesdays, uh, 10th this time, I think. Uh, haven't done this for a little while, so forgive me if I suddenly start talking nonsense. I hope, though... Something like that will not happen, but who knows, with me, you can never be sure. Uh, today we'll be talking about a commando, a mercenary healer, thus I've uh, uh, named it a little bit daringly, the best healer. And we'll see if it's true or not. More importantly though, we will be joined by a guest tonight. And you know, uh, since the last issue of my Sorter Tuesdays, I've received a lot of feedback on this. Uh, a lot of people requested me to continue the series because uh, it looks like uh, my previous rants helped a lot of people to learn some stuff about the game, about different specs. Uh, is my mic even working though? I might be ranting, but uh, ooh, a huge uh, black, a uh, huge black window here. Let me remove it. All right. Uh, it seems like my previous Sutter Tuesdays helped a lot of people learn, uh, so I wanted to. I wanted the series to return, but since uh, the Rise of the Hot Cartel hit, uh, I didn't feel I was ready to actually talk on something. But right now, I told myself, why the hell not? Even if I'm totally wrong, I can always blame it on my guest, like say, it, it was him who inspired me. And uh, that's what I'm uh, gonna be doing tonight, uh, pretty much blaming the guest uh, for being wrong on everything at the same time, uh, praising myself and uh, stroking my ego as I heal uh, people with my commando. Uh, just wanted to improve the show a little bit, and uh, that's why I thought having a guest would be awesome. So, uh, without further ado, let's just uh, go ahead and call him up on uh, Skype here. Ugen, pick up. Pick up, Ugen. <coughs> hello, 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 hello. Hey, hey, it's, it's Ugen. Say, you haven't said hello enough times just yet. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can yes. you find on the stream? Good. Yes, it's all uh, good, or at least it should be. So, Ugen here, uh, come on, give me the video. Everyone should see your face here uh, to recognize I'm you. This. I think everything is set and done for that now. Alrighty. I have, I have, I actually managed it this time. This okay, we've got, we've got Ugen here. He is Hello. from... He's from Norway. He's a Viking commando. That's why he likes huge men in his character. <laughs> They're all hairy. He likes to be on the front lines. And uh, I, I'm just, you know, if uh, if commandos could use that Gamorian axe, he would probably be right now running around equipped with that uh, slashing people instead of healing. But alas, Gamorian axe cannot be used by commando, so he has to stick through that assault cannon of his. Uh, so Ugen, uh, what do you think? Maybe we should forget about about the healing for tonight and instead talk about Norwegian girls and uh, that piece of an alcohol you've got in your freaking country, snow and stuff. What do you think? Maybe forget about commandos. You don't, you don't have to talk about Norway. Every, every stream, every chat I go into in Star Wars on TeamSpeak and everything, it's like, ah, oh, it's Norway, let's talk about his country. It's just rocks and waterfalls. There's nothing to discuss. What waterfalls? I thought it was all snow. First time yeah, I hear you, you've got... It's it, it's rocks, waterfall and snow, and, and rocks, and waterfall Water and cannot snow. fall if it's frozen, you know. It shouldn't be too hard to remember, you know. Only have to visit Norway once to understand what it's like. Snow. Well, I've never been, I've never been in Norway, so... <laughs> I, I didn't know. But anyway, uh, I suppose... In this case, since you don't really want to talk about Norway, we'll, we'll have to go ahead and uh, talk about commando. Uh, so this is what it's gonna, the show, tonight's show, will look like. Right now I'm logging on, onto my Super Vanguard on the Bastion here. Check this out. Prologue Republic Trooper. Yes, it's that commando who doesn't even have a ship yet. He's, she is level 55, but I haven't even completed Coruscant like a true PvPer here. Uh, first of all, we will of course discuss the basics behind commando here. We'll talk about the stats, we'll talk about skills, we'll talk about the um, We'll talk about the perks on the tree. Uh, we'll talk about maybe maybe something else. Something will come up with uh, along uh, along the way. Uh, then I will play a few war zones. 
one two not more on the bastion with my commando and Ugin will give me a lot of advice uh, from his point of view uh, and then I'll log in into the Tomb of Freedom ad and uh, guard Ugin will see how he plays uh, ladies and gentlemen by the way something I forgot to mention Ugin uh, and that's why he's a guest tonight uh, was regarded as one of the best commandos on Tomb of Freedom ad uh, he took a break and maybe he's not in his top shape anymore but basically for a long time he was he was the best commando healer on the Republic side of Tomb of Freedom Ned and there weren't any mercenary healers at the time so he's pretty much the best the best mech commando healer in uh, in the PvP server <coughs> in because Europe. Because there weren't anyone else. Yes definitely he was pretty much the only one nobody ever plays <laughs> commando and he's like single commando Usually you would like go into the PvP area of Tomb of Freedom Net and you see uh, 355 Sentinels and one Commando and you, you instantly know that this Commando is Ugin you don't even need to have your nameplates on because exactly. he, he's, he's the only one. Exactly. So yes, uh, Ugin, first of all, tell me, what do you think? What is the current... Uh, what, what place Commandos, uh, Healer Commandos, have right now in uh, Sotar PvP? Uh, whether they're good, whether they're bad, what do you think? What do you think? How they fare in war zones, in PvP overall? Well, as far as healing goes today, I don't really feel that the commando has any upper hand regarding us, uh, you know, in fully healing uh, today. But um, there is always other ways to use the commando uh, that you cannot uh, ways that you cannot use uh, the scoundrel or the sage. You know, the commando has always been the underdog uh, of the three healing classes, <clears throat> and people choose tend not to use it, and they have never used it. Uh, in ranked war zones for the top teams in 1.7 and early previous patches simply because the healing output is not good enough. The burst healing is better than any other um, has been better in 1.7 and I'm going to talk I'm going to refer a lot to 1.7 because I haven't played healing too much in 2.0 um, the burst in for the commando and might still be is very good it's superior um, but that's all it is. That's all they've had in terms of healing. So the only reason, the only way a commando could benefit, uh, a commando could benefit the group is by doing uh, you, you, uh, benefiting from uh, the other uh, other ways than healing. And uh, for example, crowd control and all uh, those kinds of stuff. <clears throat> One of the benefits that the commando has, which people tend to you know uh, forget about, is that uh, is the armor. People uh, like to say that the heavy armor is a waste. And uh, in some cases that might be true because heavy armor is not nearly as effective as it is in other PvP games. Uh, but the heavy armor for the commando makes uh, it very good for uh, uh, cross guarding or for guard, uh, getting guarded by a tank, you know, pocket guarding and pocket healing. Because the, the tank doesn't have to use all his uh, friendly leaps all the time. Um, the commando can pretty much stay close to the healer uh, and the tank, which is very, very good, and just uh, con uh, constantly uh, spam his culture bomb and trauma probe green beam and stay alive for a very long time and if the pressure should get high you know you um, you can always kite the commando is in 1.7 it was the hardest class to kite with simply because it didn't have any good escape abilities uh, but you, you could still manage to kite with it but in 2.0 um, the hold the line ability and the electronet is very very good abilities uh, for kiting so if the commando uh, should uh, really be in trouble while he's at close range, melee range, uh, the commando can start kiting and then the uh, tank can take over. Whereas if a scoundrel healer joined the, the tank, he would, the guard would, uh, uh, tank would always have to be, uh, this, or the scoundrel healer or the sage healer would always have to be at range and it would require much more for the tank. Um, while the commando is close to the tank, you can benefit from AoE heals. Uh, you can um, just spam your green beam and uh, get uh, use your tech of right for instant heals back to infusion, and just rely on that basically knock back char uh, concussion charge and get people away and just keeping them at bay. It's really good to uh, for staying alive without having to be so evasive all the time. Um, but in part in terms of pure healing, the commando has always been uh, worse. And defi definitely, definitely, Ugin's brought uh, quite a few interesting points. Uh, that playstyle, overall playstyle of the commando is uh, quite unique compared to the uh, two other healing classes, like, uh, of course, Scoundrel and um, Sage, because commando has to stay pretty much on the front lines, pretty much close. Uh, close unlike unlike the other two healing classes which tend to stay as far away from the group as possible commando on the other hand has to stay as close to the battle as he only 
can. Let me talk to uh, Luro Khan here to respec actually into heal since I've been playing a little bit of a gunnery, something that uh, no commando healer can avoid these days. Uh, another thing, of course, is that heavy armor, which is quite an interesting thing because that's the only healing class that can wear heavy armor. So basically, uh, you know, smash. Let's talk about this for a second. It's the bane. It's the bane. It's, it's something that everyone, uh, every player dreads right now. And uh, thanks to the heavy armor, actually, commandos take reduced damage, like the minimum damage uh, from uh, all the kinetic and energy attacks, uh, which includes smash, a lot of sorcerer, uh, and assassin abilities, they take the least amount of damage and that allows uh, allows uh, to guard them very effectively because the tank in turn will be taken uh, will be taken considerably less damage than otherwise he would from the from guarding other two classes and that uh, brings something something interesting to the table of course uh, so I think uh, that's pretty good uh, and of course like I said, the playstyle for Commando is considerably different. You stay close uh, to uh, your team, you spam these AoE heals. At the same time, it can be a disadvantage because unlike, for example, Scoundrel and a Sage, a Commando uh, cannot heal if he is not in battle. He doesn't have any real hots with the exception of Trauma Probe, of course, which is not really the most effective hot ever and is uh, most effective as a defensive mechanic for the Commando himself. <laughs> Uh, he cannot. He doesn't have salvation, uh, as for example a sage who can drop it and then start uh, start evading the enemies. Commando to heal has to stay in combat all the time. But at the same time, he's he's probably the hardest of all three heals uh, to take down. Do you think it's true, Ugin, that commandos are the hardest to kill? Um, <clears throat> uh, from you know, if you, if you play the commando correctly, yes, then definitely maybe apart from the scoundrel. Um, at least in 1.7. In, in 2.0, it seems that the scoundrel is, uh, you know, pretty much rocking everything. Well, but the scoundrel's uh, survivability comes uh, not pretty much from a direct fight, but of course, uh, due to his evasive abilities, uh, like a roll, like uh, stealth, of course, that makes him hard to kill. But what I'm talking about right now is, for example, if uh, five uh, smashers jump on you at the same time, uh, you would definitely be able to survive that, uh, while uh, scoundrel would pretty much fall, I think. Yeah, do you think do you think it's true? true? That that's true. You know, um, one one very good thing about the commando uh, compared to the other healers is that you d if if you know what if you know how you're kiting if you know you're kiting you do not have to uh, you do not have to rely on your cooldowns in order to uh, survive for long, which is really really good. You know, as the scoundrel, he has to you know he has got his in uh, in combat stealth and all those kinds of stuff, which works really effective when the cooldown is down. But for the commando, if you play properly, you do not need to use those long term cooldowns like. Uh, uh, reactive shield and all those kinds of abilities in order to uh, survive for long. And with hold the line ability, LOSing and spamming halt bomb while trauma probing plus frontline medic uh, is now much more effective. So um, yes, I would say that the commando uh, can stay up for much longer in times where the cooldowns are down. Yes, I think I think we both agree on this. And so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and talk about the perks and uh, specking into combat uh, medic here, or of course um, bodyguard if you're playing mercenary. Uh, could you load up your game or open up Torhead so you would follow uh, on the names of the perks and stuff? Oh yeah, you're talking to me. <laughs> yes, of course, I'm talking lost. to you. There's there's nobody else I'm on my so Skype here. So lost. No lost. lost. So okay, so well, giddy, um, you get to be on the stream with such an amazing person, like okay, so uh, this daily. Is just, <laughs> not um, this is not a spec that I think is um, this is just a spec that I've used now I don't I'm not absolutely sure if this is a spec that I used when 2.0 uh, went out but this is just oh. a spec that I've been uh, using for the past two three ranked war zones when I have to switch back to combat medic okay so um, the first thing you want to do is just take everything on the uh, lower pane or whatever you call it take uh, field training quick thinking and cell capacitor all of uh, do you think cell capacitor is uh really important because you told me you told me before it, it is, that using using recharge cells uh, you don't do that so so often would spending two points uh, really be useful and effective here because basically only when you use recharge cells you get 10 alacrity for it. only six seconds wouldn't these two points be spent better elsewhere 
I do not think so. I, uh, that might be might be the case for the gunnery spec, um, <laughs> even though I still use it on the gunnery spec. But if if you you know on the combat medic you don't have the buff uh, that you, or the uh, talent that you get from the uh, gunnery tree, which allows you to get more energy cells faster. So. Um, if you're in a tough position at the com as the combat medic, cell capacitor is needed to recharge yourself up fully quickly. Um, it's always some something you should spec into, in my opinion. Well, maybe that might be true. Definitely, cell capacitor allows for m more cells to be regained from recharged cells, as well as uh, grants you 10% alacrity, so you would be able to dish out these timed heals a little bit uh, faster. So I suppose, why not? Okay, I spec all this. What next? Um, you will be speaking for um, uh, efficient conversations, conversions, <laughs> uh, steady hands, field medicine. I uh, people always take first responder, which is uh, of course a choice they can do. It's understandable that they do that, but I choose to go for the weapon calibrations on assault specialists instead. The difference being that first responder gives you three percent more alacrity every time you crit, which of course is fine because culture bomb is going to crit nearly every time. Uh, but uh, the alacrity from the weapons calibrations are all the time passively, so uh, I tend to go with that one. Uh, might have been more relevant in 1.7 when the, the culture bomb didn't have the after um, the the healing over time effect, AOE healing over time effect, because it's very easy to crit now on the small hots. But I tend to go for weapon calibrations anyway. Okay, I got you. So, tier 3? Uh, tier 3, I go for uh, everything on, on tier 3. Take well, everything. of course, you you need all of this, because combat shield is uh, pretty much pretty much a must, a must to have for anyone. And of course you need supercharged cells, this is a basis of... Uh, of commando healing and cult of residue, well, you need it as well. You need that increase from cult of bomb or uh, cult of missile here uh, of healing. It uh, pumps up healing quite a lot, as well as uh, reduces the movement speed for the enemies. Of course, when you spam this, when you spam your cult of bomb into the ongoing fight of your several allies against enemies, that helps your team uh, tremendously. Cult of pods. Uh, Another important thing, it brings your cult of bomber or uh, cult of missile closer to the, to the salvation of, of Sage uh, leaving small hots in the area where you throw your cult of bomb. Of course, uh, all of that needs to be specced. Okay, tier 4. Tier 4, <clears throat> I take everything except treated wound dressings. I do not pick that talent, not at all. But why not? It reduces damage by 4%. It's quite it's quite important, I think, uh, for commando survivability. Yeah, but I think that the ta uh, there are, you have to spec two times to get the 4%, and this is only active when combat support cell is uh, on. Uh, when combat support cell is on, uh, th that is when these uh, the 4% will be ineffective. But and in effect, and I feel uh, that the supercharged cell is you want to have that out as much as possible naturally, but. It is any, anyway, even though you want to have that out as much as possible, it's only going to be out like 15-20% of the time you're playing uh, if, you, if you're in a good position. So I feel that it's better to spend those two, um, two talent points into other stuff. And you're, you, you're going to want to take med zone, of course, and field triage. Uh, some people choose to go on the two, uh, to use two talents in field triage to get a 66% chance, I believe it is, of getting a medical probe uh, down uh, one third of its cost. Uh, but I, I don't do that because um, I, I, I'm a player that always likes to be sure. I don't like to go for percentages and probability. I always want to make sure that things work as they in as intended. Yes, I know. You gotta increase that reliability you really want. Yes, I understand, and that's a pretty good thing. Uh, I agree with that. All right, let's spec like this. Uh, med zone, of course, is quite important when you're trying to uh, defend yourself. Plus 20% healing uh, increase when reactive shield is active is, uh, is uh, very it's important. Must. It's a must, definitely. All right, let's go for tier five now. Uh, for tier five, I go. I take basically everything there as well. I take psych aid, uh, trauma probe, preventative medicine, and armor screen. Well, we discussed it a little bit before, but do you really think armor screen, 10% armor increase, is um, is viable choice? Um, the 10% armor, you know, is um, 
it might not be the best thing to could to go for, uh, because it doesn't increase the um, it doesn't increase your or reduce the damage that much. But I feel that pu putting a advanced medical probe on yourself while you're kiting, then th I feel the 10% armor uh, buff can be very important because if you rely on just taking a few hits, those 10% will will uh, come into handy. All right, let's do that. Uh, well, basically, I suppose it take everything from a tier six here. Of course, we yep. need the, this uh, bonus to uh, critical heals. We need that frontline medic because that is an important defensive cooldown. Of course, you place that trauma probe on yourself, and when you're kiting, when you're dodging the enemy, while well, healing your ally with a uh, hammer shot or attacking the enemy, uh, triggers another take of trauma probe, and that's uh, quite important if you want to stay alive in uh, certain situations here. All right, let's go uh, for the next tier. Uh, I suppose I take everything here as well. Yeah, I do that. Some people tend not to take Culter Wave for a concussion charge because they feel that it's, you know, there is a good reason to not to take it really because um, you you have to spend p uh, opponent's resolve in order to heal at some times uh, if you want to use the CC for it as well, the, the knockback effect for it as well. Uh, but I feel that in some situations this can be really helpful when, for example, someone is circling one of your focus targeting one of your healers, uh, you just pop hold the line and you spam, cult, uh, you pop a culture bomb on him and use concussion charge. Reduces the damage because <laughs> they get knocked away so they can't attack and uh, it gives up a little bit of heal which can be, uh, can come in handy in my opinion though, that's so I spec it. Yes, definitely. I think Commando could use needs every little bit of heal it can it can only get, and the Cult of Wave is quite important. Of course, the downside, like you mentioned, uh, it fills up Resolve, which uh, especially in ranked games, in ranked games, is uh, is a sensitive topic. You sh you really want to avoid uh, filling up Resolve unnecessary, unnecessarily. But but in, I think it's more useful than not in most cases. So I spec that as well, of course, and. Uh, well, um, let's discuss Probe Medic a little bit. It increases healing done by Trauma Probe. It's a three-point skill, first of all. Yeah. Uh, then it increases healing by Trauma Probe by 15% only. Let's let's face it, it's not so much. Uh, let's think about it. Normally, Trauma Probe heals, uh, well, in my case, it might be a little bit more or a little bit less, depending on your personal uh, build of your commando or mercenary but uh, right now it, it heals for 606 to 651 15 percent increase it brings it up to somewhere 6 uh, 660 to 7 something not not a very big increase and that's without a crit of course uh, do you think uh, it's a useful talent really I don't think it's the most useful talent in the world uh, though I would mention that I think it's it's a little where to say it because I feel that the trauma probe is one of the biggest lifesavers the commandos has so improving it would feel natural to do uh, but if you choose not the question I asked myself and speaking into this one is if you choose not to use it if you choose not to spec three into this uh, this talent where else are you going to place your uh, talents I ch I would rather have 15% increase on trauma probe and three extra ticks three extra ticks increases your uh, energy management your resource management because you don't have to refresh it just as often um, so I would rather have three points in in probe medic than for example two in first responder uh, heavy trooper Soldier's Endurance or Target Lock from the other available uh, uh, talents you can go to in Assault Specialist and Gunnery. Uh, so I take it. Alright, but do you think we could, for example, spec uh, First Responder and put one point in uh, Treated Wound Dressings here for 2% uh, damage reduction? Uh, 2 oh, treated wound dressings. Yeah, you could, naturally, but I honestly, I feel that the, the Treated Wound Dressings is... Um, in my opinion, it's probably the worst talents you can go for in this tree. That's just how I feel it, because it's uh, it doesn't do anything compared to the other ones, and it's only 4% damage reduction, and it's only when you have supercharged cell left. Trauma Probe heals you for 15% more, and it is and it will be on you or one of your teammates nearly constantly. So I feel that treated wound restings, for me, never. I would never have taken it. Uh, probe medic, yes, I could have taken it, and I and I do. All right, then let's do that. As well as, of course, back to infusion is uh, quite an important heal. It it may not be the best heal with its cooldown, uh, which is normally 21 second uh, with 
3 seconds cut if you have a um, uh, set bonus here. For me it's 18 seconds of course because I have that. Or a rapid scan or emergency scan if you play a mercenary. Of course we take that. Okay, the other trees you mentioned weapon calibrations before. That's what I'm... Um, not going yeah, to I take, uh, actually not going to take right now, because uh, I really would like to have these special munitions for this additional 3% crit. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is to spec gunnery, of course I'm gonna spec iron sights, because 9% aim increase is always important. Uh, I'm going to spec havoc rounds uh, to improve uh, cultor bomb healing done by 20%. And I'm going to spec uh, special munitions here, so that's pretty much all the points spent. Uh, my current spec will look like this, 3880. Um, there you go, there you go, of course. I'm going to press commit here. If I didn't spec <coughs> 8 in gunnery, uh, how would you, how would you uh, have done this? Uh, what I would have done was, uh, is that I would probably have put 6 in gunnery and then I would have used the two remaining, or uh, one of the two rena remaining into um, into weapon calibrations on Assault Specialist, just to get the alacrity up. Um, you you uh, you would want at least two in special munitions. You know, at special munitions people usually, al al usually always go for the 3% grit. Um, <clears throat> I feel that it's, you know, whatever suits your fancy, if you want more alacrity, if you want more quick, you should always put at least two uh, points into the special munitions, but I feel that you can choose to go for uh, one in weapon calibrations, I do that. Uh, but most people will go for full special munitions, and then they will, won't use weapon calibrations as all at all. Because if they use weapon uh, if they want increased alacrity, they will only go for first response on the healing tree. But uh, full full talents on special munitions is a good thing. Alrighty, here I am. So this is going to be our specs for the next couple of games, but we are not going for that just yet because I, uh, the next thing will be gonna be uh, we're gonna be discussing is of course the uh, gear here. Uh, my commando is a little bit unique here. Of course, she's kind of fresh, and all she has is uh, full partisan here, unlike Ugen, who has of course uh, fully min maxed conqueror on his uh, on his commando. But uh, we'll be discussing yeah, but it's here. DPS, but it's DPS scare. Boo hoo! I uh, don't have the command. I don't uh, have the command. Uh, uh, whatever. So in my case, in case of my uh, per, my commando here, I've decided I would go for more uh, balanced stats. It has a little bit of power, but I put more emphasis on the crit. Put more emphasis on crit. Uh, I've got my surge at 258, giving me 15 and a half percent to my surge, as well as I've got some alacrity here. Although um, since I, I'm following, since I'm following Ugin's spec, it might not be maximized. I might respec after the first game just to show how I personally play this. But for now, I'm going for Ugin's spec. Well, pretty much aside from um, that going for uh, weapon calibrations because I wanted to create. So this is the stats I have right now. Of course they will be bolstered and right now that's what I'm relying relying on uh, for the war zones. I've got uh, myself one uh, 1100 bonus damage, one, 1094.7 uh, bonus damage. I've got 768.1 uh, 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 bonus healing and you know this is what uh, this is what um, we've been discussing with Ugin earlier. Uh, look at the amount of bonus healing uh, you get from power. Uh, and now let's just uh, look at the base, at the base healing uh, skills, uh, healing skills of commando or mer mercenary do. And as you can see, for example, medical probe or healing scan, if you're playing a mercenary, deals quite a lot of healing, uh, basic healing. It's for example, right now for me, it's uh, 3,625 to 4,104. Uh, and this is something I really wanted to talk to Ugin again about. Do you really think that, uh, for example, 100 additional uh, healing from power is worth it as compared to several 1-2-3% uh, additional crit? Uh, <clears throat> well, as I mentioned before, you know, people there are two types of different people. 
you have the uh, people who go for crit and you have the people who go for uh, you know a more reliable uh, da damage over time or healing over time uh, people who tend to go for crit they they like to um, you know people who go for go for crit will usually have the highest numbers in more songs uh, simply because if you add up and do the math uh, crit will statistically and the probability of crit uh, specking crit doing more damage is much higher than doing uh, than um, going for reliable heals but uh, at the same time you are never sure when the crits are going to go off so uh, the crits will not uh, you know this game is as any other it's situational you don't know when you need that specific crit so there might be uh, situations where one uh, of your teammates is nearly dying you have three percent more crit and you do not crit he dies and on the other hand if you didn't spec into crit there, there, and you go, uh, you go to the same situation. He might have survived because you have extra healing for uh, on power, and, or for example, a. Uh, people usually go for crit since beca uh, simply because you aren't. Uh, usually, you don't end up in situations like that. And if he does, you know, die. <laughs> He's only going to spend my resources. Just die and respawn. But um, and you're going to get more healing overall with crit. But I feel that. Um, I want to be very reli uh, reliable and be able to be reliable on my uh, healing. So I would rather go for, uh, for example, 85 as I have now, I believe, more healing from only power, of course, than uh, the power is not the only reason to why I have the uh, 3% lower crit chance. But I would rather go for, uh, say, 200 more healing per uh, medical probe than 2 to 3% more crit chance. That's just me. And lots of people don't do this, and you won't get the highest numbers with this, simply because, as I just mentioned, um, crit does do more damage, uh, damage or healing overall. Uh, but in situations like when your teammate has very low HP and you need to keep him alive, crits are not reliable. Well, I, I guess uh, that's true, you know, like Ogun said, <coughs> two types of different people and uh, really... You should you should think about your own playstyle when when building a commando, uh, because crits are unreliable. They are really unreliable, just like Ugin said. And you never know when you crit. And even if you had like 40% critical chance, uh, it does not guarantee you will uh, dish out that important heal. It will crit. Uh, it will be big enough. Uh, but with power. With a with a 40% crit chance, which is high, you can think of it this way. Uh, if you're in a situation like I just said there is a 60% chance of you failing. Definitely, and definitely so. Uh, but then again, I'm a super fan guard, I will not fail. I can go with 10% crits and crit every time, okay. Uh, so this is what I have here. Uh, of course, 32.17% uh, crit, I've got 65.44% uh, surge. I've got 4.88% uh, uh, in alacrity. The thing is, uh, of course, my alacrity was based around uh, weapon calibrations and uh, first responders, so basically I would have 10% alacrity all the time if I used it, and this is something that will be uh, showing in uh, farther, effectively giving me a quite, um, quite faster, I suppose, uh, channeling rate. And this is something Ugin really wanted to uh, talk about, so Ugin, what do you think? What do you think? Is alacrity viable, actually, for uh, a commando? Yeah, I definitely think that uh, Alacrity is viable for Commando, but I do not think that you should focus on Alacrity. Uh, take the Alacrity that you get from the gear, and maybe if you really want it, you know, you can put, it, you can use one Alacrity Augment, I guess. But, uh, or you can you know, use some mod modifications or enhancements that give you more Alacrity, but don't go for Alacrity, because um, if you if you choose to uh, create a healer, of, uh, most uh, in this case the commando, and you build up alacrity, go for alacrity builds, then you are already you know destroying for or you are how should I say it? You are already uh, destroying even more, and uh, for the problem that the commando has, which is interrupts. Because if you go for alac alacrity, tons of alacrity, the resource won't really be a problem anymore since they buffed uh, alacrity, but you will have to cast much more. And the only ability that the commander will be able to spam, spam without supercharged cell is a uh, medical probe, so or rapid scan from on, on the mercenary. So if if uh, a marauder should attack you, for example, for example a marauder or a ranged TPS, even worse a commando uh, or a mercenary who can uh, interrupt you from range, no problem. For example, um, you will have sh he will have shut down your stats in alacrity for about four seconds. I don't. 
quite remember how much an introit lasts for, but approximately around there. So uh, alacrity is good because of resource management and f management and fast casting, but do not go for it because one interrupt is gonna uh, is gonna freeze your stats, alacrity stats, for the duration it lasts. Well, and that's then and that seems fair. But at the same time, uh, considering the diminishing returns, you start getting, you start getting uh, at some point from surge. Of course, um, it might be it might be an okay idea to just put a little bit in alacrity, like get three four percent uh, off it. But at the same time. If you want the surge, it's uh, not a bad way to build your commando. But at the same time, remember that surge is dependent on your crit. So basically, uh, if you have, for example, less than uh, 28, 30 percent crit, it might not be so um, so ideal to uh, max out on your surge, simply because your crit will not be high enough uh, to benefit enough from that surge, and you will basically be wasting stats. Uh, remember that commandos do not have any auto crits or anything like that. They, all they can rely on is their basic, their basic crit that they have. Okay, so um, I think we covered the stats. Anything else you want to add to this? Uh, maybe some of your oh, some of your thoughts, uh, some of your personal thoughts and stats and stuff. Regarding stats, I think we're. Uh, I think I'm finished really because. Um, you know, it, I do not have any mathematical proof to why, uh, proof to why this is good and why this is not. Uh, but I, I just tend to, I've experienced with uh, the more reliable healing spec, and I've figured that I like that much more than going crit. And that is, def and that is definitely, I think, is the right way to go. Uh, personally, I feel that uh, reliability is uh, what yields the best results over time, uh, rather than relying on, for example, your crit and surge, unless, of course, you have got some um, other crits or something that bolsters it through your talents, which makes it more reliable. But uh, overall, uh, the power uh, might be the best way to go. In terms of uh, a set bonus though, uh, something we should really put emphasis on is that set bonus, a healing set bonus, uh, and especially the reduced cooldowns. Reduced cooldowns, um, healing scan or advanced medical probe uh, by wipe 1.5 seconds, uh, re cooldown reduced in emergency scan and back to infusion get reduced by 3 seconds. That is, that is something that changes quite a lot in your rotation, I feel. What do you feel about it? Uh, you are playing healer lately while having DPS gear and um, do you think uh, it would be a lot better if you had healing gear? Um, and how do you think it would have uh, changed uh, your play overall? Regarding the set bonus, I think it is uh, really, really important because <clears throat> you know, if you, if you are uh, standing still as a, as a just a turret healing, you, no one is paying attention to you. Then then it's then you don't necessarily need you don't you don't need the set bonus. But still, though, the advanced medical probe is more healing per second uh, than the medical probe. So having the med uh, advanced medical probe faster is still good. On the other hand, though, you you're usually going to get the uh, supercharged cell so fast if you're stationary that the 1.7 to 5 seconds reduce in cooldown doesn't really matter. Uh, but on the other hand, if you if someone sits on you, then the set bonus is really important because. Um, advanced medical probe is fast. It's really fast to cast, taking into account the alacrity and the fact that it doesn't have that big of cooldown. Um, and it gives you a healing over time effect, which is really good. You can cast one heal, and then you can uh, then you can take it easy for a while, for a split second or whatever. The healing over time effect for the advanced medical probe is not super, but it's worth it. Uh, so uh, advanced medical probe is definitely better than superior to medical probe. So in situations where someone sits on you and you don't can't stand like a turret then the 1.5 seconds reduced cooldown is good for the back to infusion three seconds is really really important because uh, apart from tech override plus medical probe it is the uh, outmost apart from call to bomb maybe the best single target heal you've or the best uh, instant heal you've got single not single target it's definitely the best single target heal apart from tech override plus medical probe uh, because situations where you get, you have to kite. T t back to infusion is just gold, gold to use. If, you, if it crits, you can regain, you know, thirty percent HP. Definitely, uh, definitely true. Uh, I feel so as well after playing with my commando. So I suppose we covered uh, the basics here, and uh, right now I'm gonna queue up for a war zone here and uh, get destroyed. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> get this. Well, I hope it's not uh, going to be happening. So um, if you could uh, observe my game and maybe give me some pointers here and there, I will try to commentate uh, on what am I doing once I get in there. Of course, um, as a commando, you should always, in terms of gear, you should always try to have uh, as much age as possible. Thus meaning, um, of course, always have yourself steamed. It's uh, quite important. Uh, actually, you know what? There is a lot of controversy, something I really wanted to talk to you about. There is a lot of controversy going on about the second relic. Of course, uh, one, of the, one of the relics you want to use is that it grants you uh, 435 power uh, for 6 seconds every 20 seconds. That's uh, pretty much un, uh, that no, something that nobody debates on. But the second relic, uh, what would you use? I, I personally, you know, tend to tend to go with the rest of the mob when people find out something genius. So with with the, the relics, the only thing I got to think about was, G chat, do should I use partisan and conqueror power relic? And they answer yes, you noob. Okay, I take it. So I haven't really been thinking a lot about that. I just take it. I feel that since both of them can proc, uh, but uh, yeah. this this was fixed. This uh, they do not proc anymore. It was it oh, was before, but right now, but right now uh, it was fixed. Mm, be two power relics do not stack any longer, so you have to use a different power relic. Yes, I know you haven't really played healing. Uh, you played it uh, like a little bit before, but it was fixed in the, in the recent patches. Recent patches. So now you have to choose what do you use. It's either uh, healing proc, a relic which uh, heals for additional 500 health uh, once every 20 seconds, or something else. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go quick to the vendor to see the. Uh to see to check to check on the relics. Personally, I feel I feel that now it's uh, it's an interesting choice to use the defense relics on a uh, defense relic on your commando. Basically, when it procs, it gives you uh, somewhere around 11% defense chance, and uh, sometimes it really helps you to avoid these dispatches from marauders, uh, juggernauts, whoever. It also avoid helps you avoid some uh, of the sniper shots, especially if they uh, did not invest into accuracy. How um, in a lot. A lot of DPS really prefer to just max out on their power, maybe crit, and then just forget, just forget about accuracy in, in total because they would usually supplement uh, this power in crit with surge, full surge, and not invest into accuracy at all. So I feel like a defense relic might be an interesting choice here. Well, to be honest, I haven't looked uh, close enough into this, and I didn't have enough time for that because that patch obviously went uh, live when I was uh, taking a little break. Um, so, you know, you, you are the educated person to talk about this. So you are the, yeah. Oh, thank I can't, you. I can't. I can't. I, yeah. Uh, I'm, can't, a, I'm all. I'm all giddy. Much. I'm all giddy inside now uh, because he called me an educated person. But uh, yes. Uh, of course, the choice is really narrow here. Either either you pick, either you pick up uh, 500 heals, that additional relic which gives you a small additional heal on your um, skills, or you go for the defense relic, which is normally regarded as a tank relic. But of course, it can work on any class, on any class. And once you are attacked, you get additional defense. It is in, in no way, of course, it is a reliable thing. And uh, that additional healing is a more reliable relic than the defense one. Because it only improves your chance to have a chance at avoiding a, a chance of an attack. A lot of chances here. Uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's once again a matter of personal preference. But then again, sometimes uh, it's that chance, that small chance. Pretty much like with, with crit. Uh, By the way, we have a big problem. Which one? I cannot point out anything on your stream because it's a delay. It's a delay. You don't need to immediately point out, you know. Just uh, just watch okay. it. Just watch it. And uh, after the game ends, you can uh, like commentate on my game. Right now it's going to be Novari Coast and uh, it looks like against the refs. And that's pretty bad because <laughs> we, we can... We can... Uh, well, I've got uh, healers, counter healer here and a gunnery commando. That's not the best front line. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we're, we'll be going up against... Uh, 300 marauders, smashers, so I'm gonna be having a nice time. So the third thing I really want to do is of course stack up my uh, supercharged cells or supercharged gas to 300, uh, or I mean 30. 
<laughs> 300 supercharged cells would be a little bit of an overdue, but that would give me a nice uh, healing bonus, definitely. Um, of course, remember that uh, having uh, 30 stacks uh, gives me the maximum healing bonus of 3%, I think it is. Uh, is it? No, actually 5%. Or not. I forgot how much how much do uh, supercharged cells uh, give me uh, of, uh, how much of a healing bonus I think it's 5% or something I'm not too sure they've changed that 5% when it's when it's, when it's activated when it's activated yeah and, and if you when you have 30 stacks it's 3% it's 3% yes yes I thought so I think it increases by percent uh, by percent every 10 stacks so and it looks like we managed to grab mid here uh, right away. Uh, so basically, uh, what I found out uh, in case uh, in case of my of my commander healer is that my usual rotation would consist of five skills. That is, uh, um, uh, that is, if I have uh, set bonus for reduced cooldowns. And these five skills would uh, definitely include one advanced medical probe, one medical probe, one culto bomb, and two and uh, two free skills. For example, it's uh, either one uh, it's either one uh, hammer shot on an ally or uh, or back to infusion uh, and back to infusion or two hammer shots. And and in this uh, and when I use and when I do this, I can rotate my skills basically indefinitely with no real impact to uh, my energy. Uh, so uh, if if one of the skills gets interrupted I usually uh, just uh, ignore this and uh, stick to okay it looks like I have to go east here because uh, it's been it's under attack right now and basically I just continue with my rotation and um, do not do not really reset it or something if my energy starts getting low I just use recharge cells or just stop casting for split second or use of course uh, supercharged cells uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be a hard game, but this is how I do it. For example, I open up with uh, advanced medical uh, probe, then I throw in a uh, culto bomb, then I go for a medical probe. Uh, I use hammer shot, uh, stop, uh, stop, uh, stop capturing this point. Come on, man. This is not the time to cap in. Okay, right now I'm under attack. I need to stop talking because I might be a dying. That's exactly what happened. I didn't really want to break this, but. Uh, but uh, it looks like they bursted me down quite quickly. Okay, I need to sober up. This is a pretty pathetic performance on my part. Shut up, everyone! Shut up! I need to concentrate here. Alright, put in a uh, trauma probe on myself. Because I didn't really have that on anyone previously. Looks like my allies are having it hard. I'm approaching the battle. I'm gonna use... Cult of Bomb and do not hit anyone. Going for my standard rotation, back to infusion and hammer shot. One thing you should usually do if you don't have any teammates close to you when you're respawning is just spam medical probe on yourself, but just use green beam on the bot NPC in the base just to, to get the 30 stacks up anyway. They're capping. God damn it. What are you doing, guys? Why is everyone. Alright, suddenly this is not going so good. I need to concentrate here. If you want to commentate, just look at the, at the stream and stuff. I'm gonna try and play this because it's uh, usual. Usually, it's really hard to talk. Okay, so one thing that is really important to do now is that, uh, or at least for two seconds ago, uh, he's getting focused, and it's obviously that it's Super Vanguard now. It's Flavor who's getting attacked the most. Um, is using trauma probe on yourself and start sh shooting. Comes uh, having and also popping, uh, not now, not naturally since you're electromagnetic, but using hold the line a little bit more often. Um, and also using hold the line com uh, in combination with culto bomb in order to slow the opponents, healing yourself for a better kind uh, to, to have a bigger chance of getting away from the opponents. Again, it's it's you who's taking the most damage. They're naturally going for you. There's also one there who's who's getting pretty low. Um, I still think that okay, great, good. You had trauma problem yourself. Um, God, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Yeah. And you should, you should, um, while you have trauma probe on yourself, you should always try to use some auto attack, auto attack, back to infusion, call to bomb, and concussion charge, which I, which I haven't seen you use now. Concussion charges. Uh, you can, if you go closer to that scoundrel healer, uh, then you would lure the guys uh, who is going for you 
to both of you, and then you can heal the scoundrel healer yourself while looking back at the others. You had a reaction shield there, so you sh and you were full resolve, so you should probably have popped your uh, CC breaker. Hello, Darian. What's up? <laughs> it's Darian. Anything interesting uh, in uh, happening in the chat? Yeah, no, not really. It's just Darian making making a party there. Uh, again, uh, you should have uh, used medical probe on the NPC or on the uh, on your. Oh, no, you should have used green beam on the NPC in the spawn base, or just stand medical yes. probe. On the team. Uh, in situations like that, uh, when the enemy or when your teammate is really close to dying, this is something that can be very hard to to you know um, think of all the time. But obviously, you should always, always, always use your instant abilities first. I haven't seen you use your tech override as much. Um, people tend to spare it for you know special occasions. Don't do that. Do you know? Don't do it if you don't have to. But if you feel that the pressure is getting really high, just use it. Even though he's not low. Use it in order to maintain health and uh, a, you know a, a recent amount of help, health pool. Decent amount of health pool. Okay, we'll see. Unfortunately, our team doesn't really have a lot of DPS here, and we're being just destroyed. It looks like we've got several healers, like uh, we've got a sage, we've got a scoundrel. But uh, at the same time, enemies there got. Okay, so now it seems like that Sentinel is. Um, it doesn't seem that like the opponents are doing. Uh, are having any cooldowns, damage cooldowns. So what you could do now. Okay, now it's too late. Okay, you, if he's keep chasing you, hold, use hold the line and just go towards the edge and knock back both of them. Now again, you should have a trauma probe on yourself. As soon as people start focusing, you use trauma probe on yourself. Ah, too bad. Okay, use... Ah, uh, yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> Okay. okay, let's see. You're winning though, that's good. How? Or, no, no, what are, you talk what are you talking about? I was seeing the yellow icon and I was thinking, yes, Republic, Republic is winning. And then yes. I thought, oh, yeah, that, that, that's right. <laughs> okay. These guys. So focus, okay, you are getting focused. They seem to have have you focused as soon as... Okay, use, use hold the line now. And use call to bomb on yourself, good. Get, go to the edge, go behind the bunker. I'm already dead! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Medical probe on yourself. Yes, totally. Um, of course, I always forget that I am... Uh, you know, it's very hard for you because I am saying this as I'm watching you on the stream. So you will have to think about what you did. Yes, yes, I know. No problem. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. It's okay. Trauma probe not on yourself. Trauma probe not on yourself. Two energy cells is worth it. Just spend the trauma probe uh, if, if they're switching targets. People say it's not worth it, but it is. It really is. Es especially after the, the, the talent, new talent in trauma probe. Okay, so um, use if you have it, you use your advanced medical probe, and then you okay switch trauma probe to yourself now. I did, I did. Yeah, good, good. And then you're gonna target an, an opponent because no one of your teammates have taken a lot of damage. Okay, they've stopped chasing you. Yeah, they've stopped chasing you. Yes. No? Okay, I'm going to go so, west probably. Yeah. Okay, whenever one of those sentinels attacks you. Use trauma probe on yourself. Target him. Use hold the line, and uh, start shooting him and kiting because it really helps. The frontline medic is really good. People say it's not. It is. Oh, it's not really good, but it's. We're <laughs> Kevin West. We're Kevin West. Gotta go get him. Gotta go there. Will he cap it? Will he? Yes. Awesome. Okay, now you should pop your supercharge cells. There's no reason keeping it. But I'm full. Whatever. Yeah, you should spend supercharge cell. Activate it. Why? Because your teammates seem to have a uh, low HP. And besides, 
you might as well you might as well have just spent it because you're walking a long distance now. Or not. Actually oh that's I probably me being a little bit retarded. To do that. Come on, nobody's actually coming to help. Oh my god. Oh that's, my god. That, uh, that your teammates were still taking casualties. But it's they seem to stay at that health pool, so never will mind. They, will they take will they take his? That's important to him. That's uh we got it. All right. <laughs> everyone's coming. Everyone's coming east now, though. That I'm a problem myself. Oh. Need to use uh, the green beam of love. There's a lot of people coming here. Don't leave. It's. One one good thing that I see you're doing is very very good. You're not you're spending you're not spending a lot of time targeting and aiming on the ground target when you're throwing culture bomb. A lot of people tend to use at least nearly half to one second before throwing the culture bomb, which really really spends up a lot of time in your healing. It's important to you know get as much healing as possible in the shortest time possible. Okay, your tech of right is nearly ready. See the guy who's really low uses, and still you're not getting focused at all. Uh, so you change the trauma probe to someone else. That's good. Uh, okay, and I yeah, good, good. I think middle is in a lot of trouble right now. I'm gonna disengage from him, from here. Okay. Another thing, I, I never want you to have uh, advanced medical probe not on cooldown. Always have it on cooldown. Always use it. It's better than medical probe. I will try, master. I will try. Interrupt their captain. Holy crap! No, 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 no! Interrupt, God. <laughs> All right, there is uh, this guy here being targeted. No, 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 no. I get stunned. Oh my freaking god! I mean, what the f- What was it, Paul? What was it, Paul, just now? Sage, thank you for don't, letting- Don't, don't, you have a reactive shield on, don't move at all, no reason. I get pulled in an interesting direction. When I was trying to kill it to keep that uh, scoundrel alive. Okay, so, um, if you keep getting attacked now, just use trauma probe on yourself once again. Yeah, trauma probe on yourself. And just keep it there. Now a green beam on the guy in the upper right. I'm not taking too much damage. Too much damage. Good. Use use con okay. You should uh, you could have used concussion charge there. It was good. Uh, good way to do it. Cap cap it. Oh, it's two percent. Well, uh, this game is uh, this game is gonna be lost. So sadly. Also, one thing actually that we forgot to mention that leader of the war in this stream says obviously is that the alacrity also reduces the global cooldown when you use, put, use an instant heal, which they changed in 2.0. Took quite a lot of damage in this war zone, to be honest. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, you lost. Yes, sadly. That sucks. It always sucks to lose. Well, you don't have to tell me about it. I know. I've got this feeling. All the tingly feeling has gone away somewhere. I really need a sip of tea or something. Actually, I haven't really switched into the, into the game. Holy crap, I forgot about it. Sorry, guys. But I hope you could still see a lot of stuff. I wasn't switched into the game, right? I had this uh, TV screen on. So again, you still there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still here. I'm just really confused about what you're talking about now. Whatever, it doesn't matter then. Maybe I did. Okay. The game was full screen on on the stream, right? Yeah. Oh, that. Was, no, it wasn't full screen on the screen. You had the TV and everything is still on. Yes, that's so that's. People, people said in the chat that yeah, the setup is a little bit over the top right now for this match. So shady host, 
Your complaint has been heard. He will not do that in the next war zone. It was not intended, actually. Yes, indeed, it was not intended. They completely forgot. It should have reminded me. What the hell, Ugin? Why do I keep yeah, you? Yeah, but I didn't. Why do I keep about you that? around for? Why? I, Tell I didn't me. Think why about did that? you? Why did I even invite you? I was, I, I was watching your stream <laughs> and then I saw the TV, you know, with your Star Wars inside, and I was thinking, damn, I want that TV television. That was all I was thinking about. It's okay, actually. No, but I was too. Go I ahead. Wanted. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just too too uh, focused on the game. Actually, I was very focused on the game. Whatever, you didn't help at all anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, next game will be definitely better, of course, and that was pretty much the first game of the night for me, so I was warming up a little bit. Okay, so Dark Yoda, hello. What? Why are you so happy about me? <laughs> Why is he so happy about you? Ugin is horrible. I don't, I don't know why I keep him around. Don't say that! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to respect a little bit now, though. Um, I'm going to show people how I usually do it. Uh, I don't really take cell capacitor because, well, pretty much I didn't really need to use recharge cells in, uh, in this match. So this is how I roll. Okay, so you're gonna go your spec now? Yes. Let me see how you spec with your commando. Yes, you're gonna see it uh, like right now. Um. So I actually, I'm, I'm a bit surprised. And what? Uh, I'm a bit surprised that you're so, you're so famous. I was imagining like three viewers, like one fat farting guy just sitting at a computer and writing in the chat like, ah, oh, this sucks, fucking Russians. Uh. But apparently there's, there's a lot of people here. Oh, thank you, thank you. I try my best. I try to please everyone. Um, you know, I, I work my tongue pretty good. In, in both, uh, literally and figuratively. <coughs> so, uh, so this is what I spec. I don't really take probe medic and I don't go for armor screen. I don't know, some people might disagree, but that's what I found works best just in my case. Just hang on a split second. Uh, I'm just gonna reply to someone. Okay, sure. Darins, yes, I definitely believe that the commando is in a weak spot in 2.0 or 2.1 or whatever. You know, fuck 2.1. Nothing, spe nothing special happened for the PvPers. Um, no, yes, I feel that the commando needs... The, the commando healer needs a buff. Because <laughs> if I didn't feel that way, I would never have played gunnery commando. Fuck commando gunnery. The only reason I play it and the only reason people play it is because you can't play combat medic. Combat medic is so much more fun. So yeah, I really do believe that the commando needs a buff. Not not necessarily a big buff, but maybe a small buff to keep it tuned or to keep it on par with the sage and then toning scoundrel down a little bit maybe. That's that's my thoughts on it. Uh, but of course, I'm 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 no I don't just, uh, I'm not sitting here with the facts. That's just my way of uh, looking at it. But it's pretty clear that now that the commando is in a weaker spot, it's not bad. The buffs that was given to the commando in 2.0 was not bad at all. It was good. The only problem was that they boosted the sage and the scandal even more. Um, yeah, 2.4 will be for PvP players, but it's in October. Okay, go ahead. Keep talking. You are allowed. You are hereby allowed by Ugin to talk. Keep talking. Sure. No, no, no. Actually, you should continue because right now I'm trying to think into the game. Of course, um, uh, trying to keep everything in check because, uh, of course, the first game was a warm up. But I, I really did a lot of mistakes, like you, like you pointed. Uh, right now, I've got Trauma Pro, but I will be switching it. Of course, uh, let me put Call for Residue on my party. Just uh, get 30 stacks of uh, supercharged cells. We'll see what happens. Uh, we've got a shit ton of healers, and I, I immediately catch a flash grenade. I'm not gonna break it. Uh, okay, by the way, have you have you listened to the advice I gave you earlier to use target nearest friendly and target nearest enemy? Of course, I always use it. What are you talking okay, about? Good. It's not oh, like it's my first time in PvP here. No, I know, but I didn't know. I, I thought it was my special secret. I didn't know that. Oh, sorry, it wasn't. It, it really wasn't. Oh my god, my team is taking... Just broke taking Anyway, though, for those who, if you on the stream who uh, was wondering what I was talking about now, is that if you're a commando healer or if you're a healer or whatever, I'm just gonna focus on the commando now. Um, you want to use your cap targeting, obviously, uh, in some situations. You want to use the healing panel, like you can see Flavor doing now. Um, but for situations like uh, when you come to a battlefield and one of your teammates are very low and you cannot find the, the appropriate name or the correct name on the healing panel, you should always. Uh, those are situations where tab 
closest uh, friendly comes in handy. You should always have that because you are never sure if you will reach the friendly target in time before he's dead if you do not use it. Another thing is that you should always, on the commando healer, on the healer as well, you should have a tab to target enemies. And it should all also be target nearby enemy. Um, I, I'm going to show you that later on, why that is really important in uh, situations when melee DPSers come close to you. And uh, not only that, but specifically most importantly that. Okay, by the way, someone here is suggesting that you turn off the delay. There is, the there is no delay on the stream. Really? Of course. <laughs> What there, the hell? I, there is, the there is, there is, there is a delay because, of course, it takes time for me to send data from my computer to the server. Ah, I thought you meant that you had delay, on like five seconds delay. All right, we're losing the east uh, west by the way. Um, st interrupt, maybe. Um, there's nobody. Uh, okay. Oh my God, this Russian layout. This Americans, I must say, this Americans on the Bastion playing at this time of their night, morning, whatever it is. I want to slap a few Republicans here. <laughs> I have to be honest with you, viewers. I have to be honest. Be. How is it for a Russian to lose to Americans? How does that feel between you? Is it like Norwegians and Swedes? Oh my god, I'm taking so much freaking damage. Oh god, and I don't really have anything. Oh my god. Why does the enemy team have no, so much I'm damage? Telling, I'm telling you there is delay because when I'm hearing you in this in Skype, you are saying t uh, things out no seconds and seconds before stuff happens. Yes, I am but explaining this yes. once again, once again. Yeah, it I know. It takes that time delayed, to send it... data from my computer to the server and for the server to process it. Fine, fine. That is fine. why. That is why. <laughs> But that is why it feels delayed. There is nothing we can do about it. Forget about it. Oh my god, my team, my team, it's so awesome. I don't have enough compliments. You, you're, you're the best. You and your team is the best. No <laughs> Americans and Russians. Yes, I'm trying my best, I'm trying my best, but it's nearly impossible. Okay. Use concussion charge. Okay, he used it. Don't use it. Don't, don't have to run now, healing. Now it's a good time for you actually to use it. Don't, don't, t yeah, do it now. Use it uh, when he, you know, to get him away from the battlefield, away from the bunker area. So. Let's see if you're getting focused after you try to tap. Stand still now, stand still. Don't run around. Uh, except, yeah, of course, you're capping, so... <laughs> that naturally is okay. What the hell is that Guardian doing? He's looking at me, but I'm dying! Holy shit! Heal me! Someone! Oh! Ow. 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 Nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. Pretty much the same stuff. Over, over okay, again. Now hold the line. Use uh, reactive shield properly. Uh, don't, not that, not, not that you have to do it, since your team is probably not going to survive in that area. Still, come on! Don't let them decap. Don't let them. Okay, one thing that is really important that I haven't mentioned in the second game is uh, two stuff about resource management. One thing that you haven't come across uh, in this in the recent war zone simply because you don't have a guarder, so uh, the likeliness of you dying before you're running out of ammo is pretty big. Anyway, um, if you're low on ammo and you don't have recharge cells, you ten people, commandos always start to use green beam, or at least they should. For those commandos out there who has been looking at the forum and people are advising you not to use green beam, just just don't listen to them, okay? So if you're low on resources, um, one thing you should do is to use green beam and try to get supercharged cell up as fast as possible. And then you will activate the supercharged cell and then you will cancel it again. Simply just to get that one extra ammo. And when I say one ammo, people who are new to this game or started in 2.0, Rise of the Hot Cartel. The only reason I'm saying 1 and 2 is because I'm used to the resource management for the commando, the previous resource command, uh, management. So when I 1 is the equivalent of 
uh, the cost of one uh, cleanse. It's a, it's eight. It's a eight cells, uh, I think, right now. Okay. Yeah, what what it used to be right. one, it's eight. It's eight now. It's something like that. It's not. Uh, it's not an even number. No. Okay. So what I was saying was, um, yes, you pop. If you're low on resources, use Green Beam until you got Supercharged Cell, pop Supercharged Cell and cancel it. Just to get that one ammo and then you start using Green Beam again. Because the green when you when you are low on resources, the supercharged cell will build up so fast anyway. There is no reason to to uh, spare it for some special occasion. So use it, cancel it and start charging up again. Because you might think that it would be a waste to cancel it. Now that you just pop the supercharged cell, I might as well just use some healing abilities. But after one or two heals, you will be low again. So just cancel it and start using Green Beam. And when your resource management has started to go higher, your supercharged cell is ready again. Now it's a very good time to use concussion charge. You're behind the bunker. Um, good, good. And um, yeah, so that's uh, one tip. Another one is that if you ha are having, if there are two guys on your teammate, accept yourself. Um, Except yourself, that are getting attacked, and one of them is main target, main, they're main focusing him. Obviously, he's first prior to healing. But the second guy, one thing that is really good to do um, at some point, or wait, wait, let me let me rephrase that. If there are, for example, two guys coming to you, and you know that there are going to be more, one really good way to keep the health up for your teammates while waiting for the uh, for using your big abilities is to use trauma probe on him and then you, sp you spend one advanced medical probe and then you just spam green beam it's very very good sustainable healing over time um which costs it's it's cost it costs totally four ammo but this is something that you want to use um if in the beginning of a match so the ammo will uh, uh, restore really fast or you want to use it if you are completely out of ammo and you know that you don't have time to wait for it to regain. So, one advanced medical probe, trauma probe, green beam heal. Now, the good thing about this is that it, it, you, nearly, you don't spend ammo and unless the opponent is using some cooldowns or some real hard hitting attacks, you're gonna... You're really gonna uh, keep up the pace with your healing. You're, of course, his HP is gonna go down. Green Beam, Advanced Medical Probe, Healing Over Time Effect, and Trauma Probe is not gonna heal over a Marauder constantly smashing in your friend's face. But it will reduce his damage pretty significantly, actually. If you haven't tried it, it's going to surprise you. Do not believe that this is some secret recipe for getting Uber, of course. It's, it doesn't work if the, uh, if the opponent are using some hard-hitting attacks, but if, you're just, if it's just attacking, use this, use this technique instead of spending medical probes and stuff. Like that. Because you'll overheal and never overheal, don't want to overheal. And meanwhile, I'm getting raped here, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry. But maybe These Americans are obviously not playing around. Yeah, I can, I can. I'm holding my breath. I'm, a, I'm about the gap. Yes, yes, it happened. Okay, so Yay! But we'll lose West probably now. Uh. Um, and another thing that you should think more about, I believe, on yourself is cleansing. So far, I didn't really see, uh, didn't really see. Oh, Anything it, I could it cleanse? Has happened a couple of times. It, it, it has happened a couple of times. Okay, I get it. I get it. I will try harder. But what about West? What about West? It's gonna be rape right now. Uh, I don't really want it to happen. I want to win this game. That would be a great comeback. Will we? Will we get back before the guy dies? Seven K on that shadow. He can do it. Come on. The capping interrupt. Do something. They are capping. Ah. Oh. I don't think I'm getting there in time. <laughs> Now this honestly sucks. This, this is too bad. This is horrible. I'm telling you, who taught yeah. these Americans to play? The Jedi school in the in US is horrible. I'm telling you, whoever is running the Jedi school, he really doesn't teach them well, well enough. Uh, I have to say, it, fucking gunslinger. Well, these guys are obviously having fucking gunslinger. He is <laughs> he is damaging my brains right now. I'm worried by the time this uh, this broadcast ends, I might not have uh, enough brains left. 
Okay, just just wait until you've got time and then spam. Use Trauma Probe when you're out of uh, range. Okay, and cleanse there. yourself. You got yourself. to be kidding oh, me. God. Shut up! No time to cleanse! <laughs> I will die if I cleanse. Uh, another thing though is that if, if you really just want to interrupt him, just. Oh, if you really don't want the, the cap, obviously, just AoE the shit out of the place. Just AoE. Use Hail of Bolts. I don't have time in this in this scenario. Well, normally I would, of course, but uh, right now, no friggin' chance. Oh my god! 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 I'm listening to you, and I'm dying. It's all because of you. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be blaming this guy just, here. Just, just admit it. You, you, you can't cope with this uh, with the delay. It's practically impossible. You're, you're not a, you're not a Sherlock Holmes. You're not an Albert Einstein. Don't pretend like you manage to uh, understand what I'm talking about with this delay. My IQ is pretty high, by the way. Not as high as Sherlock Holmes. Or is it? I don't know. How much IQ do they have? I don't know. Probably a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, Sherlock. I'm just joking. Yeah, but probably a lot. I don't know. Let's just forget Sherlock Holmes. And your IQ. Where are the fucking reinforcements here? I need them right now. Why the hell is it so much damage coming in? Coming in? Okay, so one, thing is one, one really, really, really important thing to do as the commando here, which can be a little hard in the beginning, is to use your interrupt ability all the time against casters. Whenever you find a caster, use your interrupt. You know, when you're a melee DPS, you usually want to think about what abilities you're interrupting. And as a gunnery DPS, you should also do that. But on the commando healer, it's, you know, the interrupting is just a plus. So try to get an interrupt down all the time against the sorcerers around or uh, the, the mercenary arsenals. Try to get the interrupt. Try to interrupt the grab round and stuff. Um. <laughs> well, once I get a free second in this game, I will definitely, definitely interrupt. Uh, but uh, so far, we're really... No, but I, I, you know what I was, yeah, I was, I think I was clear on the fact that I meant abilities, not channeling bunkers. <laughs> well, actually, I, I, I sometimes interrupt that as well, when I don't really want to waste ammo or something, or don't want to use hammer shots. I just sneakily interrupt stuff to not to attract att attention to myself. Sometimes you could do that, actually. Yeah, I, I done that once, and then I felt like such a noob. <laughs> I was in ancient hypergates and I saw this oh, big buff juggernaut capping an orb and I was like running right beside him and I was looking at him and I was like ah I better interrupt him but how do I interrupt a cast no or a channeling ability and I'm like I get it I use interrupt you know I should have just used hammer shot but I was fucking retarded so I didn't do that okay one thing now is use concussion charge on the guys to the right use concussion charge on them oh, you don't have that okay Sorry, use Halo Fox in the guys to the right. I'm dying, god damn it, they're just they're just going crazy they capping. Actually, right. actually Oh my god, they actually capped it. Damn it, we oh damn it. It will not be the best comeback in history. Active shield. Shut up! It, I'm having a hard time listening to you and at the same time trying to interrupt when I'm being owned by three people at the same time. <laughs> Seriously, it's it's pretty hard I'm telling you. Believe me. Medical probe. Cleansed. Medical probe or green beam oh on the guy. Oh god, line. how the hell? There's so many stealth immediately. Oh, it, it, it didn't okay. happen. This comeback didn't happen. Okay, while you're walking uh, on the respawn area, use green beam on the persons following you. Just to get the combat support cell all the time, all the fucking time you can. Just heal people with green beam to get it. Not only in the beginning. Right. When you, for example, Civil War, when you're walking from grass to middle, heal your tank, spam green beam on him if someone's following you, just to get the supercharged cell. In Void Star, if you're going from left to west or to, to east, spam green beam if you have time, just to get up the uh, supercharged cell. Okay. Right. One more game on the Bastion, and then we'll be logging in and see how Ugin does. How Ugin oh, does. Don't give me this. Don't don't give me this. How this. Ugin does this. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the gunnery gear. Uh, I need a cigarette. Anyway, I, I, I need to go for five minutes or something. Um, I'm, I'll be back uh, soon.
So uh, yeah, so we can back, get back to track. But um, yeah, I'll just uh, be AFK for about five minutes, okay? And I'll be back. Right, right, sure, sure. Meanwhile, I'll uh, continue with the bastion here, guys. Uh, it's not getting as I had in uh, as I had anticipated first, but uh, who knows? Unfortunately, our team does not really get the, the DPS we need. They're not peeling the healers, so it can 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 be kind of problematic. So just as Ugin says, seriously, gotta gotta keep rotating. Uh, trauma probe, gotta keep spamming hammer shot. Uh, whoever says you do, commandos do not use this, it, he doesn't know uh, a thing. So you don't listen to them. see how we're doing on the commendations here because that's important uh, I don't really want to waste something okay picked up stuff of course gotta keep uh, advanced medical probe on cooldown exactly as it says uh, back to infusion every time someone's dying rotate trauma probe uh, and spam culto bomb and uh, all that while staying staying on the front lines that's a uh, hard thing to do but, you know, Ugin is the real professional here, I'm still learning my commando, so I've gotten a huge excuse. <laughs> Soon you'll be seeing a master in action, uh, pretty much after I'm done with this game here. And of course, uh, the fact that I have to talk a lot and listen to Ugin's rant doesn't really help me. There, I'm out of excuses for now. And uh, as soon as the next game pops, we'll see what happens. Uh, meanwhile, guys, I've, I've just uploaded a new hotball game to the YouTube channel, so make sure to check out that. It's between White Noise and Outer Space Mirmidon and uh, newcomers. Well, I suppose nobody's a newcomer anymore, but they've come from Jarkai Sword and been showing some great games. And, oh, speaking of uh, hotball, there we go. I've got a hotball myself. Gotta heal these guys like there's no tomorrow. Like there is no tomorrow. See what happens. How am I doing on? Uh, yes, the volume is good. People can hear me, and awesome. The one thing I haven't really shown is how uh, my stats get both bolstered compared to um, what I had before. Uh, right now, of course, I don't really have uh, don't really have the boosts. I mean, uh, the buffs. Uh, I'm still I'm still missing that. Uh, that boost. So this is what I get uh, with all the buffs and uh, and bolster. Of course, I get my expertise to 2,000. I've got uh, 100, uh, 1,000 to 200 bonus damage as opposed to 100 I had uh, on the fleet. I've got 32% uh, crit and everything else is pretty much the same. Of course, uh, in terms of my alacrity, every time uh, my healing crit uh, crits, that's um, pretty much always when I spam Kalto Bomb or a Hammer Shot on someone. Uh, I stay at 10% alacrity, so this is uh, the commando I've got here. And of course, uh, you have to remember that I'm not full Conqueror yet. No idea when I will be, only only full Partisan here. And so. Uh, the stats are yet uh, have still some room for improvement, and uh, you can still uh, get it better than I have right now. So I'm not an ideal commando here, just uh, something average, something that you can get uh, once you hit level 55, maxed out on comms. All right, six seconds before the start. Let me first put trauma probe on myself. Just in case, as soon as someone gets attacked, I will shift it. And like I've been saying before, uh, basically my rotation here ideally consists of five skills, uh, three of which are one call to bomb, uh, one advanced medical probe, which reduces uh, the cost of a uh, medical probe. That's how it is. No. Yes. No, come on. He escapes. Anyone dying? Oh my god, what a great flight I took. And I don't have um, hold the line because I used it. Alright, let's just heal ourselves. Where is the mall? Still installed. There's a huge fight in the middle, and I feel that's the best um, 
that's the best thing for a commando healer to do. To stay in the middle and uh, heal, at least in hotball, stay in the middle and heal from the front line, uh, from the higher ground. Let me... This core, got my concussion. Oh god, of course, it's done. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that's great. That's a good trauma program, that guy. Keep healing him, keep healing him. There is someone else, of course, dying. Everyone's on me for whatever reason. You like me a lot, but what? This is a great. What? What? I didn't hit that guy? Are you serious? Okay. Tech override, heal, okay, cross, cross it, cross it. Let's keep on healing, healing the guy. It's important, he will survive. And I think it's gonna be a score, unless he gets pulled. Not exactly the most careful leap, but okay, let's go back. Actually, the mid is under our control. Pick up the ball! Pick up the ball! Oh, <laughs> these Americans, really. <laughs> I'm saying Americans, but uh, to be fair, of course, this happens all the time on any server, so I'm just being silly, of course, I have nothing, and I'm, there are tons of great American players. Okay, I'm back. So, um, welcome back, I'm welcome back. This hotball is going better, it's going a little bit better than two previous war zones, but uh, while you're at okay, it... So, okay, so now, in this situation, um, if this guy is going to carry the ball, if this is a sage, I can't see it properly, you want to stand close to him as the commander, as I mentioned to you before, um, it could really benefit as a commander if you stand close to him uh, in a hook ball. Um, simply because <coughs> um, the AoE heals that you're spamming for self heals will also benefit the other player. Plus, that you will maintain distance with the uh, guy you're following if you're close to him while casting a, a, a spell. If you're far away from him and he's walking with the ball and you're far away, you're going to have to walk a little bit for you can cast uh, a medical probe, for example, again. And um, that is not good in, uh, in case this guy is going to take a hell of a lot of damage. Another thing, another reason to why I want to stand close to the ball carrier as a commando healer is that the knockback, the concussion charge, is so, so very good. Uh, when people are walking above, obviously. In rank, when people are walking down the pit, it doesn't really matter, but in normal, it, it does. <clears throat> Okay, so um, also, if to you guys out there, if you are playing gunnery commando, um, which you should not do, <laughs> don't what? do that unless you have to for ranked war zones. Um, if you're a gunnery commando and you play hotball, uh, unless you're in a ranked team and they tell you not to do this, um, a good one thing you can do to support your team is that whenever you get the ball, switch to uh, combat support cell and have your tech override ready. Uh, you can actually do very, very good burst healing as the commando if you just... Uh, in, in gunner respect as well. Now, um, for those of you guys who are listening now, I would advise you, if you're interested in getting uh, good and learning a lot with your commando, to bind armor piercing cell and super co and combat support cell. I don't know what is on the. Uh, this is actually side. this is actually something I really wanted to do uh, myself, but you know, uh, 1.5 seconds channeling time on the switch makes it a little bit hard to rotate in combat. Yeah, it is. But uh, remember that you don't want to use it often. But one uh, one moment when it, when it's really good to use it is when uh, you get the ball. Because when you get the ball, you have all the time in the world to change the the, the, the cell because they won't be focusing you. And then just spam green beam, green beam, and in gunnery spec, you have two ticks on your tech override. If you use two medical probes, it, 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 it is cash. Two medical probes, one one uh, one advanced medical probe and two medical probes in gunnery spec heals good. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want you have the ball trauma probe on yourself at once. Spam cold bomb while you're walking. Spam cold bomb on yourself. 
uh, one thing that I want to mention, and now you have full results, so you should use um, a, a reactive shield. Now, one thing to you players out there, uh, commando players, if you're a, a gunnery, or in, uh, most importantly if you're a combat medic or are interested in, in getting better, a, a, a nice tip regarding the commando, you know, we've mentioned that you should stand a little closer uh, to your uh, to your teammates. This is situational. Sometimes you want to stand from a distance, but there are lots of times where you would like to stand close um, with, uh, to your teammates while you're healing. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned earlier that the Colter Bomb, one of the problems people are having with the Colter Bomb is that they are using too much time targeting it. So, one thing that you should learn to do is to have your mouse cursor, your mouse, uh, positioned to your lower right or your lower left. I love to have it on the lower uh, right side and just have it there. Now whenever you need to pop the Colto Bomb, just click on the hotkey for your Colto Bomb and click on mouse button to activate it really fast. Click click. You don't, uh, to prevent um, having a delay to, uh, uh, by having to aim on your Colto Bomb because Think about this, you're playing a Void Star match, for example, and say it lasts 10 minutes. Now, if you are using half a second, one second, or even just half a second, on aiming your and, and placing your culture bomb, and you have your culture bomb every 6 sec seconds, if you're one of those commando players who spams culture bomb for, for just to get high numbers, some people like to play that uh, uh, technique. Um, Personally, I think it's situational. Sometimes you should spam Colter Bomb, sometimes you should not. Um, but if you are one of those persons, imagine how much time you lose healing if you spend about half a second casting the Colter Bomb every time, every sixth second. That's a lot of time. I'm not. I suck at math, so I'm not gonna try to figure out how long that is. But um, it, it's at least over a minute. So. Uh, yeah, really important to just find an, a place where you can hold your mouse cursor all the time so that whenever you need to pop Colter Bomb, click and activate. Don't aim. The only times you want to aim is if you cannot reach the target you want to heal. Then naturally you would have to aim. Now, in a situation like that, um, where we just saw, um, saw uh, Super Vanguard carrying the ball and he was close to the pit. One thing you should not do if you're a commando and having the ball, you should not use um, hold the line unless you know there is a risk of getting pushed away from, uh, pushed over, pushed uh, yeah, pushed under, pushed away from the bridge. You get what I'm saying? Because <laughs> <laughs> because um, you, you, uh, it's it's very easy to think that hold the line is very good for the speed, but in situations like that, you want to use hold the line to prevent getting knocked away. That is uh, that is more importantly in situations like that. Hold the line can actually be used for lots of fun stuff. I've used that in um, in uh, Novar Coast actually. If you're playing with people who aren't that experienced, naturally you can't do this against good experienced players. But you know that if you go outside of the uh, playable uh, field on Novar Coast, you will die. Um, now, what you can do is that usually when you go to a bunker that is guarded by, for example, a Marauder. Just throw a stick grenade on him and, you know, just tease him a little bit to make him want to follow you. And you just go behind uh, the bunker to the area where the playfield is, is um, uh, restricted. And just stand there, say it's a juggernaut. Wait until he charges you and then you pop hold the line. Because he's gonna try to use pushback on you. He's gonna push you to the restricted area. At, at, uh, at the second he charges you, use hold the line and then just go over him and use knockback and stun. He's dead. That's really fun to do. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? I have no words. Oh, what the hell happened? Did you get the ball? That was some awesome playing. <laughs> really outplayed. Someone is getting really freaking lucky in this game. I I have no you words. I, I'm I'm only saying one thing. MVP to the guy who snapped who snatched that ball. MVP to that one. If he dies right now, I'm not going to MVP. You 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 are. 
Uh, you are gonna end the game, you're forced. You have to honor him for his excellent catch. He's gonna freaking die right now if if we don't do something quick. Uh, Darian, yes. Fucking hell, sorry, sorry about it. Someone... Oh. I will be playing with uh, on this stream uh, as the com as the combat medic actually uh, after this one I think I'm gonna be in gun respect but who the hell cares and I'm gonna play one or two war zones and then I will have to go to uh, to the team speed because I'm I'm lined up for uh, ranked war zones today. Yes, I'm sure it will be it will be enough actually it will be enough for us to can we? Uh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it. Um, By the way, uh, well, Flavor, one of the one of you, are, one of the guys on the stream, are asking if you will upload this on YouTube. Yes, of course, of course, I will. Yeah. I will. And yeah, Lihar Robinson or whatever you're called, nice one. I like that comment. I think the Merc Commando healer is the most fun to play. I love the energy management, or I mean, actually having to manage your energy. <laughs> I was, I was nice. Message of the day. Oh, you all shut on, up! Man. Shut up! I cannot do crap in this. Really, jumping down there was there wasn't a really good move to to do there. No, oh my god! Oh my god! We had we had a great chance, but of course he had to intercept that ball. But then again, good, well played, well played by the um, Imperials. To be honest, obviously we're not gonna be winning this game anymore. But it was fun. It was fun to play. So um, get ready. Now, now, what tank do you want? What tank do you want? Kale, obviously. Or Justice. Yeah. Why do you always have to change your cool names to those fancy, fat, fancy names? I don't know. Ooh, I just, some justice. I just wanted to bring some justice to the Tomb of Freedom and Ned. That's why. That's why I had to rename myself. And well, I didn't win a single game on the Bastion. What to do? But I was trying. I really, really was trying. At, le at least you're not streaming so that everyone can see. Uh, really? <laughs> I'm not? <laughs> oh, thank God I'm not streaming this. Thank God. Okay, so should I log on? To, so should I log on to... Um... Yes, yes, go ahead and log on. Uh, unfortunately, the Bastion games did not go so well. You had to witness three losses, but at least that the pit game was a hell of a entertaining at least to me to know about you guys so what's going on in the chat what's going on in the chat let me read it <laughs> okay so Darian says he wants to join us I'm asking you flavor you're the boss well, I don't know if you feel it's okay. The main focus here is you, of course. I'm really not going to play this right. I'm just gonna stay around you to show people how Commando is going to perform. If, if it's cool, then why not? I'm not going to play objectives. So, well, unless, of course, uh, uh, it favors. It favors. I'm gonna try to stick in around you just to showcase your play in this case. If it's okay with Darian and uh, the fact that I might forget to interrupt. <laughs> Just to show what 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 awesome commando we have here, and he, he is free to join, of course. Okay, well then, what do you say, Darian? Anyway, but I think we covered the most of what you need to remember as a commando, and you also gave a plethora of uh, additional info and tips and tricks. Unfortunately, I uh, on my side was not able to showcase a, a lot of amazing play, but still, still a lot of info to think about. I think. Um, for guys to learn from, especially considering that you really were the best commando on Tomb of Freedom Ned. Ah, come on! I don't, I don't, I hate to say that myself. I'm not gonna admit that myself because it's just. That's, that's fine just being, because actually that's you were horrible. Really you were horrible. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. Say it like that instead. Anyway, I'm gonna spec full tank, or should I stay? Actually, I'll just stay in, in DPS gear and show people that even squishy guys guarding can uh, stay alive if Commando, uh, if Commando is healing. By the way, this this was interesting. What last man standing? Last man standing. Ah, I got it. Uh, wrote. 
he has heard rumors that there's only going to be one class per team in 4 vs 4 Borsons. Actually, arena. actually, true? I haven't heard anything about yet. Could you provide some link or something? Because uh, if it's true, then it's it's interesting. It's really interesting. But how about pre-made groups? Are you saying that pre-made groups will not be able to queue for uh, four man arenas? No, f f uh, pre-made will be able to queue, but you can't have more than... Uh, but that's weird. Um, how? How? A lot of players just have one class, and so you're saying that the three shadows when healer will not be able to queue for that as a pre-made? It will but severely I, limit pre But okay, guys, keep it, keep it to the topic. We'll discuss it later, to be honest. It, you know, in my, in my opinion, it's, it's might, it might be a really smart move, because um, having to balance war zones as well as, war, uh, as arenas at the same time, is really hard. Uh, Blizzard has experienced how hard it can be to uh, balance PvP in both battlegrounds, arenas, and PvPVE on the other side. So, um, by them restricting it to only have one class per one of each class per team, will make it easier for them to uh, to uh, prevent overpower tactics. Overpower tactics. What do you think? What do you think about that? It's true, but at the same time, all these people will have insanely hard... Well, I don't know. If it's if it's solo queue, it's fine, but, you know, pre-mates will have lots of hard time actually queuing for this if it's only one class. Right now we're seeing 100 warriors queuing in uh, ranked, for example. Yeah, like Nariad. Sentinel. You bloody Sentinel, Nariad. You Sentinel. <laughs> So why? Why? Okay, it's a female. I was beginning to wonder if you weren't the queen or the goddess. That's that's what it was. Okay. Right. Anyway, nah, I've got myself uh, in DPS gear here. Uh, also, spec defense, uh, and I will be hanging around Dugan, uh, observing what he does here. As you can see, he's already stacked. He's supercharged at 30, as well as spamming that cultil residue. Also important to keep on your allies, of course, for increased healing. And we'll see what happens. Let's hope the games go a little bit better than uh, than they did on the Bastion. Now also remember that I'm still playing in... I won't have the set bonuses for this match because I do not have healing gear. Yes, I've and... I've been forced to play gun respect in this and his style point. And his style will be different, of course. He will not have reduced cooldowns on... Uh, he will like not have reduced cooldown on uh, hold the line as well as uh, advanced medical probe and back to infusion. But at the same time, he will have a l concussion charge, at, um, so that's also interesting. A, a yeah, little true. bit more accessible. You'll have uh, push back more often, as well as you'll have that additional healing now, one provided thing to by. Mention, when you see people jumping in the beginning of the war coast, for example, you're gonna you're gonna notice that people are gonna lose some HP. Just just heal them up, so that you don't have to uh, focus on that. Um, in uh, while well you're playing, it's it's uh, one thing that you should uh, think about. Because um, uh, because you don't want to have a teammate starting the game with like two percent HP. No, I mean, I mean like fifty percent HP. Two percent HP by falling down would have been a little over the top. But you get my point. I suppose. Actually, I wasn't even listening, but uh, I have to say that I do get your point. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Jürgen. I'm too concentrated on killing people. And you're, tell, you're me, tell me, tell me, tell me when yeah. you are in danger. But I don't think it's gonna be happening, so I'm gonna cap. Nobody's really paying attention right now, so kill that guy who's just walked past by me, past me. Or don't kill him. It's it's fine as well. Ugin, just check out how Ugin's. He's been telling me to stick close uh, to his tank, and he himself just. <laughs> Stays as far away as possible from me. <laughs> yeah, now I'm doing that. I'm doing that now because there's no reason for me to follow you because all the action is behind. So I'm not following you this time. I'm following the other players because you're really not the one in need. Oh my God, that guy keeps sleeping in. I have to defend that uh, that sage here. He's been focused. Did you place trauma probe on him already? Who? <laughs> That's no, the, have, that's the I'm answer, I'm ladies I'm and gentlemen. Ugin is taking damage. They're capping inside. But I've got a new mail from customer service. Why? I wonder. I haven't really written them anything for ages. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm CC'd here. Nariad, I'm CC'd. Nariad, you have to listen on the stream. 
when I'm saying you will see it because he's not on Skype, unfortunately. Where is he? I, actually? Why did I walk into that? No, that's no problem. He's he's out of uh, out of sight. So I was stupid enough to go into the Vanguard thingy. Uh, that's slow shit. Okay, so now no one is really having difficulties with HP, so I'm just gonna go up to damage. Okay, I switched again because people are uh, people are uh, taking damage once more, so I I didn't get much time to do damage there. Uh, this Obvious. is one thing for you guys who's, who who wants again to, uh, who, people who want to learn the commando. Uh, in the beginning, when you're playing healing, do not never 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 think about dealing damage. Uh, you, you should do it. Uh, it's a good thing to deal damage uh, when your teammate does not need HP, but don't think about it in the beginning because it's only going to uh, take you away from uh, your job. You can do it later when you've got more control. One die. Fuck you. Okay, so I'm gonna stun this assassin now simply because I'm not managing to out heal him, uh, out, out uh, heal his damage. Now I'm gonna, you see, now I use medical uh, reactive shield. It's not because people are on me, it is simply because I do not want to be disturbed while healing he everyone else. Interrupted, yes, exactly. So, That's a good yeah, So, so um, pe people who, you should all, always use the, uh, you can use the uh, reactive shield even though you, you, you yourself are not taking damage. It's it's a good move sometimes. To just Are you in use trouble right now? Me. Yes, no, no. I, oh, oh, no, no, no. I was still a champion in taunt. I don't know why. I felt like I really needed to do that. That sniper is getting out of the battlefield. It's time to cap, actually. Yeah, it's time to cap. But I'm not. I'm not thinking about that. Then I'm just gonna play. All right, I'm not right, using right. the often enough, often enough, and people might see that, and it's simply because I am I'm not used to doing it on the healing spec, um, and on the DPS spec you, you use it as often as I use it as often as possible. Not because I think it's clever to use it as often as possible, but simply because you like to have high numbers, don't you? So just again, you know, Electro that gives a lot of damage actually. Okay, so now Nariad is taking damage, but it's not a real threat. So I'm just going to use Advanced Medical Probe on him and Colto and Trauma Probe, and then I'm going to use Green Beam. And um, he puffed his Guarded by the Force or whatever, so he didn't have to worry about that anymore. I didn't. It, it wasn't necessary. But in a situation like that, where you know that the damage from the opponents are not going to be really hard, Advanced Medical Probe and then Trauma Probe on him, and he and spam Green Beam. Okay. Now I'm gonna watch, look after the first one who takes damage, and that is Jane here. So I'm gonna pop cold, uh, I'm gonna pop trauma probe on him in the beginning because the likeliness of more people attacking the same guy they start to attack is pretty big. So the, um, I'm going here. I'm going for uh, probability. Now I am taking one, by the damage, way. so I'm just gonna knock back him right away and use hold the line. I'm gonna stop right away again because I have to heal Nariad. Don't walk too far away and don't, and, and, unless you don't have to. Remember, the guys you're kiting away from are melee, so even if you're three meters away from him or four meters away from him, he's still not gonna be able to do anything to you. The only thing you want to make sure to do is that you're far away enough to be able to cast one heal, not two, because then you'll uh, walk for far too long and you don't know if he's got his breaker, his charge up. Um, if you don't know that, then just go and be ready to um, uh, to walk the distance for one heal ability. Now Nariad is also a little bit low again. This is my this is me failing, um, but he's high he's high he's full HP again because of that sage. Now I'm going to use a culture bomb, and I'm, you see I didn't I didn't uh, you probably didn't see it simply because it's not me who is. Uh, um, who is uh, streaming, but, I, but I'll say give this information anyway. Um, okay, now I'm low on energy, so I'll just pop my supercharged gas and I'll cancel it again, and now I'll start using Green Beam once more. And now I am uh, further... Okay, so I'm really low now, and I know that Nariad is taking damage. Akish is taking damage as well, but I can't care too much for him, because Nariad is the one I have to worry about, since he's in our group. Now, he would have been... He would have had to pop his Guarded by the Force earlier, and if he didn't have it, that was really, really my fault. Uh, what happened to Naria there? Because I should have used cryo grenade on this fatality, that this fatality guy. Um, so um, really, really bad for me. Now, one of the reasons why I'm not interrupting ranged DP healers here is because um, I'm a little out of uh, top of my uh, of my. Uh, I have to get used to this again. I haven't played. Ammo. I'm getting back to to the game. 
now I'm constantly low because this is getting really tense, resource management. Um, one of the reasons to why this didn't work as it should have done, and why I don't have more than I should have, is because I used recharged cells uh, when I was all out of ammo. This is something that you might, might seem like something that you should do, but actually no. Use your recharge cells when you have 16 cells left, approximately two if you're using the old version, because your resource pool will go up much faster than if you had zero. So always pay attention to that, it's going to be better for your group, for your heal uh, resource management. Now, uh, this actor's guy... Wait, uh, one sec, one sec. Uh, you, should, uh, you should use recharge cells um, when you have even more cells left, like 34, if you do not have that additional cells uh, per spec. That's uh, something I really wanted to add. If you don't have these additional 16 cells um, on the recharge cells spec, you need to use uh, it even more because you really want to always stay in, uh, in the maximum energy regenerate. And if you use uh, recharge cells when you're low, you will get back to like uh, to level 2, do you know how to call it? Yeah. Okay, continue. Okay, so now, now people are not low. I don't. There are not anyone in this group, my teammates, that need health. So I'm Nariad to needs to, yeah, to stay alive, like You're right so now. Nariad is so far away. I'm, I'm trying to protect him, but he's dying. He's dying. He oh, needs some attention, yeah. some kind female touch. Okay. So um, apart from that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, when people are not taking tons of damage, use one medical, advanced medical probe and one trauma probe, and then you, then it's optional for you if you want to do damage to the opponents instead of healing, because sometimes doing damage to opponents is really, really, really important. It's more important than healing. See, look in the commando as it's more as the support class. But now I'm going to use com um, supercharged cell again and cancel it once more because I'm really low. Yeah, see, look on the commando as a support because it doesn't have the best healing, uh, but it has pretty good um, pretty good damage taken into account you really inspect which is um, which is uh, something that you can use to your advantage naturally now one thing I'm also doing wrong here which you might see is that I'm not using culture bomb often enough not not uh, far I'm, I'm not far from using it often enough people might believe that you should spam it but in some situations, it's much more important to get one big heal down. Okay, this, this is getting really, really dangerous now. Um, because you have to prioritize which one of is taking most damage. And if you see that what two, four of your uh, friendly targets are, um, are at 50% HP, but one of your teammates is at 60% HP, but he is getting low really fast, then you should start focusing on him instead of using Culture Bomb. Because people tend to love Cultobomb for one reason. The one reason they use it too often is because they want big numbers. Now, big numbers is obviously good, it means you've healed a lot. But there are times where you should not, should not, not, absolutely not focus on getting the highest numbers. Should even heal getting... me. Yeah, I'm doing it. But it, it's a little... I'm, I'm multi... You said no one could multitask. You said yesterday no one could multitask. Look at me! I didn't say no one could multitask, I said that men generally have problems with multitasking and I'm one of these men. That's what I said, so stop twisting my words right now. Oh, okay, shut up and continue your monologue here. I was listening in awe. You know what, I've been thinking that you should really, must have been born a woman. Not only you can multitask, but you, but you never shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've just found out. Are you sh are you sure you're not a girl? Are you sure? Do you have boobs or something? I didn't. I haven't had time to check. You know, my private area for years, and years because playing. I'm playing. I don't have time for that. So yes, you know, playing games, playing games, and checking, checking important areas. Yeah, I, I not compatible. Anyway, okay, okay. Back to the game. People are dying here in the back line. Yeah, I know. I'm out of ammo. Okay, I'm just gonna use uh, reactive shield now, not because I need it at all, beca only because it's very. It's, there is nearly no time left for the empires to win, and I just want to make sure that I get these heals off just for doing it. Now, Darian is playing. He's not playing my by, by my book. One of the reasons to why I didn't heal him nearly as good as I should, simply because he is more aggressive than I am used uh, to for people being when they are. Uh, when they are playing in pre-made. Okay, so I got a healing per second of 1,400 in this match. Um, it's not so bad. Definitely I guess. better than I do. 
so. but at the same time you didn't really have you weren't really that much pressured here no, if we're to be honest very important very important to say uh, but one of the reasons to that MVP uh, me for for health sake okay there we go now one of the reasons to why um, why I didn't take a lot of pressure is I'm not gonna say is because they didn't want to attack me simple as that but um, if you tend to be on the uh, two steps ahead of them in the typing, uh, in the kiting game, they tend to, unless they are experienced players, they tend to leave you alone. Experienced players do that when they have to, uh, but apart from that, they're going to chase you even though they won't get attacking you at some, at some point. But here, if you manage to get out of their uh, attacking zone <coughs> very early and stay there for about five to six seconds, usually people are going to stop chasing you. Well, maybe, maybe that's true. Uh, actually, you know what I want to do, what I, what I want you to do right now. Go before we go into the last game of this evening. Uh, go to the tour head and um, and post me your healing spec right now. I will show it full screen as well. I will add it to the video comments later on so people could uh, see it. <coughs> okay. Just do it right now before you go yeah. for your ranked. Uh, I remind you guys with that uh, we are in sort of Tuesday number ten, the best healer. And the best healer is obviously me, but uh, what we're talking about here is uh, <laughs> is uh, commando or mercenary healing. And uh, we've got Ugin as our guest. He was uh, largely regarded as the top commando healer uh, on the Tomb of Freedom net pre uh, pre rise of the Hot Cartel. He doesn't like me saying he's still the best, but well, so that's uh, how I'm gonna call him. Pre Rise of the Hot Cartel, he was probably the best. Well, mostly because there wasn't any other commander healer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you always like to say that, put that in my face. Never mind, I'm, am I just gonna post it on your Skype? The link or whatever? I, I'm, I'm such a noob at everything, I'm technologically impaired. Help me out! What the, am I doing? I've, this I've is the guy. This is the guy we got here. Let me make him full screen. Just look at his awesome hair, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No thanks. You are not a lady. I, after all, you're not a lady. After I all. I thought you just said I was. Okay, but um. I ask you to check, but it doesn't look like you are. I have already checked that. I'm not doing that on cam. I'm not. A, I'm not a slut. Ever, never mind. Uh, go on tour head and tell me what I'm gonna do. I'm, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. What to do? I've just shown my. I, I've clicked my spec and everything, but I don't know how to send it to you. Just copy the link. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I, I'm gonna do that. I, I know. Actually, I know how to do that. Boom. All right. Let's uh, let's check his spec out. Once again, as soon as it loads up, this is what we got here: 38.62. Like he explained before, he likes this 2% alacrity compared to, for example, first responder here. Uh, he picks uh, up cell capacitor, and then this is something he explained about uh, when you should use it. Usually, you never use uh, your recharge cells when you are out of cells completely. Try to time it when you have two, three cells left, and this, uh, and then you will be able to constantly uh, stay at your maximum ammo regeneration, ammo or heat. Uh, then he basically uh, picks uh, all the important stuff from tier two, uh, fully maxes out on tier three of course all of these uh, things are all important to keep uh, to keep at max he doesn't go for treated wound dressings though uh, and then it's uh, pretty much uh, maxed out combat medic tree or a bodyguard this uh, this will also be posted of course in the comments to the video so if someone wants to copy his build uh, go ahead I'm not gonna post mine because I'm too embarrassed about it. <laughs> well, but you know this. This I just want to mention that this spec is not any, any, any uh, you know fact on how you should play it. The the recommended spec is not like this. <clears throat> so uh, this is you know you, when you're choosing a spec, there might be a cookie cutter. There will always be a cookie cutter, but there is not always certain that the cookie cutter is much better than the other alternatives you have if you just follow the skeleton of the cookie cutter uh, depending <laughs> on your playstyle 
You haven't said cookie cutter enough, so please add add cookie more cutter, of that. Cookie cutter, cookie cutter, yes, exactly. I'm going to queue us for the last game of um, the evening, ladies and gentlemen. No, this is not going to be four hours long, and I really try to keep it as compact as possible. But you know, every time you engage in a discussion about some spec, it tends tends to become long because because you know this game might not seem complex, but it actually pretty is. Um, it really is. There is a lot of info, um, a lot of things, and tips and tricks to learn. So. That's why every discussion about every single spec actually quite often gets uh, pretty complicated, don't you think, Hugen? Uh, well, to be honest, I'm I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna say too much about this game being complicated uh, compared to others. The game is complicated in terms of tips and tricks and t uh, and such stuff like that. But the pl but the place where I think that this game excels at, especially, is team play and organize organization, um, because. You do not have to be your the top, uh, for example, assassin on your server in order to win over the team with the top assassin on the server. That it's is, such a team true. play game. That is true. But of course, the skill level on each class might seem very... For people who haven't played this game a lot, or people who play it casually might think that the skill level is really low. But you are going to see the difference between someone who has played who is playing in the, the class by the book and has done that for a week or a player who's been playing the, uh, for example the uh, sentinel for uh, a year pretty much and, and experimenting and uh, yeah so a, a class skill does matter in this game and it exists absolutely it's just that in this game it's not that important i feel that in other uh, than in other games like world of warcraft I hear you, uh, but on an unrelated note, don't you but, think but, these, but, these but, guys but, look together uh, cool, and look cool together, don't you think so, viewers? I think they're perfect. Uh, can I, uh, can I like, uh, take his hand, my hand? Yeah. Do whatever you want, as long as you don't force me to take away my helmet. I look like a, I look like a buffed Ron Weasley, that's how my character looks. Beneath like I told arm. you, you're like some construction worker, you've got that uh, concrete mixer uh, on your back, You've got that protection protection suit and of course the helmet. So um, nothing gets in your eyes. You are like a Star Wars construction worker here. <laughs> anyway, it looks like the queue is not popping just yet. Not sure when it will uh, come back. Uh, they still got that customer service mail, and I don't really want to open it on the stream because what if they are about to tell me that I've been uh, that I've been violating something? Um, actually, this this is. Um, I'm so sorry, especially to the viewers and also to you, flavored for this. But I'm getting a message here on uh, on uh, on Facebook. It's my mother, my dear mother. I have to do some stuff. So. Um, you wait, 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 wait a second. That's that's a separate. Uh, that's a separate um, thing to discuss here. Your mother actually contacts you on Facebook to yeah. uh, to ask you for to do stuff. She's high tech. Wait, let's let's play one last game. It's already popped, like fifteen minutes, and you'll go, okay? Oh, it just pops. Okay, I'll, I'll tell her to. Sh I'll tell her to shut the fuck up, ma'am. I'm playing with some Russian guy here. Yes, the Russian mafia here. You just cannot leave me hanging because yeah. you look at this palm here. It will spank you. Your ass will get red. This this is you'll this is how you. this guy deals with his guests. Listen yes, to this guy. Ex exactly, exactly. So uh, if if any one of you is pro with your spec, make sure to uh, apply for my next show here. I will I will spank you like like a Will Ugin after this game. Uh, Sounds like a plan. No, seriously, his mom contacts me him on Facebook <laughs> to ask him to do some stuff. That's that's. You don't, you yeah. don't, you don't hear it, you hear it every you day. Know, I, like I, my I, mom I, doesn't I, even know about the existence of Facebook, but he is actually contacting me. Like, uh, like, um, again, could you please do the dishes? Dude, Puss dude, is dude. on his wall. On, I'm, on his wall. I'm, I'm the guy here, not afraid to say it was my mother, and not. Oh, seriously, there's some psycho, sexy girlfriend on Facebook trying to Facebook me and asking if if I could give. But nobody would believe it if you told it because everyone, everyone saw your face. <laughs> It's, it's my mother. <laughs> it's oh shit! It's it's my mother. Anyway, we've got okay, quite so a lot of healers in this game, by the way. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of healers. Three healers actually. So we'll see what happens. Just hoping. Do we have a shadow or something? Uh, 
Yeah, so we got actually two shadows, so one of them should be able to defend the pylon while I'm observing Ugin. Uh, let me put him on focus. Uh, wait, no, this is not Ugin. Ugin, why the hell are you called Zuhiro? Uh, I'm not called Zuhiro. I cannot find you, I cannot find you on the off stream. Anyway, so you could see his uh, buffs and stuff as usual. He's already placed the trauma probe on himself. Uh, he's also stacked his uh, supercharged cells to the maximum. We're going into the middle, no splits. Actually, we should have gone, uh, we should have split. We should have split. Next round, we'll split Ugin, okay? We'll go to their pylon and uh, try to try to fight and show people how uh, long we can stay alive. If we can. And then when we go, we just die in three seconds. I'm like, oh, sorry, viewers. That didn't work out exactly as we had planned. But that's okay, because we're people. And people do mistakes. Alright, I need, I need, so, I need yeah, some I know, healing, I know. you know? You know? I know. You know? I, it's I know, I know, I know. Relax. Take it easy. Something just happened there. I just got a dirt moment. Oh my god. You so much carnage. Doing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna stand closer to you. Now I'm so gonna try to So much benefit. carnage, to be honest. Yeah. I'm gonna try to benefit from staying closer to you now, but now I have to uh, turret cast, so I cannot go to you. I guess he's taking damage, she needs some heals. Oh Another god. Another thing that is good for... Uh, Good for the um, uh, the that I might didn't not have had mentioned yet. Uh, uh, one another good, good reason to why the commando is uh, can be very good close to your tank is simply because um, he don't have to use his leap all the time. He can save his cooldowns for further needs, uh, which is which is good. Yeah, it's great. Just keep me alive, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna try. And uh, another more important reason is, uh, is that commandos are pretty sexy. You you would always want Lady Commando right next to you. Exactly. Most important message of the day. Yes. That's it. Oh, I hate people LOSing. The worst thing for a healer that every healer knows. Fuck. Don't you, the healers in the stream? Don't you fucking hate this when you're casting a spell, a healing ability, and the second before it goes off, they the, the team player LOSs you? What the fuck is that? Stop with the. Get some game awareness. Listen, y youngsters might be watching this. Why are you so okay? Sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm young. I'm, I'm young. You know, I should. I'm not supposed to know words like that just yet. So, uh, so um, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind okay, so, when you're so saying stuff. Not having troubles with health now, so I'm gonna go over to DPS. Um, ability that I like to use is charged bolts, and of course mortar volley when uh, when the people are stacked. Mortar volley does a hell of a lot of damage, especially in gun respect. Naturally, when you have your armor piece and so. Now Nariad again is playing. The reason I didn't go to him now is because I didn't want to get pushed out by that player. Uh, probably was a marauder. So let's go there. Uh, there pylon now. Come on, follow me. Okay. And uh, cleanse me. I'm, I think I'm tech uh, slowed. Yeah, I can. All right, three people here. I think uh, someone. Okay, good, good. Oh shit! That's Why, what, as well. What? What's going on? Yeah, I, I was thinking that you suddenly had taken a lot of damage, but it was just Lariat coming with half his HP. So, uh, yeah, I thought it was some kind of a psycho reality glitch or something like that, but it wasn't. Alright, keep them occupied. I will try to maybe cap this pylon, but that Marauder, for some reason, just decided to sit yeah, on uh, me. I'm gonna uh, CC them, I, okay? Yeah. Don't touch these guys. They're CC'd here. Um, Ugin is taking a lot of damage, of course I'm interceding on him and uh, I'm taking a lot of damage myself, but quickly brought back to full. Mm. Who's taking damage? You taking damage? No, doesn't look no, like no, it. No. I'm fine. Okay, jail is taking damage, a lot of damage. Yes, it would be fine if you could come come close to me now, really. I'm not LOSing this mercenary properly enough. Okay, so I um... Okay, so I'm gonna stun the Marauder, simply because he doesn't have... Uh, he can attack while moving, and I'm gonna use 
throw a probe on myself and I'm gonna target him and then I'm gonna leave. Now I don't need to do that anymore because I'm full HP. One really important thing to t think about when you are kiting, which I uh, am a little rusty on now because now someone just died. One really, really important thing to always think about when you're kiting is, when is it okay to go back? Do I really need to kite anymore? It's really important to think that all the time because suddenly your opponent has switched target and one of your teammates are dead. Um, so yeah, that's, that's important. Now I'm getting some trouble by a Marauder here, so I'm just going to spend my Electronet. Uh, I'm going to stand pretty close to him because I feel that I'd, uh, I'd rather just get a one uh, medical probe and then get attacked again, since it wasn't it wasn't me who was uh, having a hard time with HP. So I was popping my Electronet, and, uh, no, I mean Reactive Shield, and started healing someone else, even though I had full HP. I didn't want him to die, so I had to make sure that I wasn't getting attacked. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. We're dead. So. We're doing the same, though. Doing the okay. same. Go right. I really need Hopefully to put that commando work. healing to a test. Okay, so for this time I'm gonna put you on uh, trauma probe on you, simply because you got focused most the first time. This Kronos guy is actually, to you guys who watch this, he's, uh, he's not bad. This guy is someone who's been playing for a long time, he played a lot before, he was in, I, I think, I'm not sure, I'm not absolutely not sure, but I think he was in Warmongers. Um, the previous, yeah, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure as I'm saying. Uh, but Darian can obviously uh, uh, can obviously say if that's wrong or right because I know Darian wasn't that. Anyway, I know he's a good. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's definitely not a noob. Okay, no, Darian says no. So I'm 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 gonna shut up. But anyway, he knows what he's doing in my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, he, he just confirmed it on the whisper. Yes, they were in uh, in war mode as both of them. So, um... Now... Uh, this is not really any problem for me. I, I could go over to damage, but... I don't feel that, you know, suddenly someone is getting focused again. I just want to be, um... To make sure that... Uh, people are st uh, full health. I need help. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the kiting ability now with the trauma probe. Target closest enemy already. Electronet is already on him because I had target closest enemy. I didn't have to tar look for him or do some sloppy targeting in order to to get the uh, to get the electronet on him. Just pivot around with your mouse and use it because you have target closest enemy on. There are a lot of people around me. I should have used uh, Concussion Charge before. I didn't do that, unfortunately. Okay. And now, just to make sure that I, st I stay alive even longer, I'm going to use a... Um, I'm going to use a... Uh, Adrenal, Warzone Adrenal. Now, I used the Cryo Grenade against the guy who wasn't using his Master Strike, which was a mistake. By me. I'm gonna pop a uh, trauma probe on myself again, simply because there are people tend to attack me now. So I'm just gonna have it here until things uh, things are easier. Because you don't want to overextend the use. I need help. Uh, I don't want to ex you don't want to ex overextend the use of trauma probe simply because of the resource management. But you still you should still rotate with it. We're going to do the same. It's actually very good, they all came uh, into the middle, I will slow them down a little bit right now. Yeah, I'll buff you now, darling. Okay, so when it might seem that we're... Never mind. Focus it's that guy down. The... Uh, yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, I'm gonna go and try to find the guys, uh, someone to interrupt. Okay, so um, one of the mistakes I did now was um, a mistake that I usually do uh, after I have respect from gunnery, because I switch by my bindings when I'm uh, gunnery spec. So I have my target closest friendly on tab when I'm healing, but I have the target closest enemy while I'm gunnery spec. So now I, tar I spammed on tab and tried to target them for me. 
so I didn't manage to stun him in time before we managed to interrupt it. Which was a big mistake, actually. Okay, so now I'm not taking any damage at all, so there's really no reason for me to have a trauma probe, but I, I'm still gonna use it because I know that this Kronos guy is gonna go after me. Uh, I'm just gonna pop Warzone uh, Adrenaline, and I'm, now I'm gonna, since he's walking back, I'm gonna do some damage to him and then focus on Justice. He's now on Justice for KM, which is no problem at all, because one Marauder is not gonna be able to take him down. And now I can just sit back and be a turret. Um, but you really need to output some DPS right now. We are not killing these guys uh, quickly. Quickly okay. enough. We really need to take them down because our pylon is already capped. So right now turn turn on your armor yes. piercing cell. Which yeah. would be probably the best thing to do. Okay, so uh, this guy is a tank. Probably we should have CC'd him, but I think I just broke that. So that's how good I can be. Definitely, definitely good play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna cap. Come on, kill this guy! It's, oh my it's God. not easy, it's not easy, I'm telling you. It's... We don't have any any DPSers at all, except that Narian. Narian is doing his job. It seems like we're people are just not dying. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of healing. Alright, in the next round we'll be going left actually. We need to reliably cap our pylon. Yep. Might as well just do it now. Okay, so I'll have to go back to supercharge so, uh, to my uh, green beam now. So I just did it now since no one was focusing me. So I, uh, in this battle, I've been using. Um, Maybe it's better to even die to the yeah, explosion. Okay. I switched to armor piercing cell. So. All right. So um, <laughs> well. You can already see that uh, Commando is doing a really great job. Of course, right now we're supported by a few healers, also um, a Sage and a Scoundrel, but uh, definitely survivability of uh, our Commando here is uh, very, very high and very good. And I'm seriously enjoying and protecting a Commando because he's taking the least amount of damage uh, of all of the healing classes. Like I said before, Heavy Armor plays a major role. He takes a lot less damage from Smash, a lot less, dam a lot less damage from things like, like Project, uh, or a double strike, uh, a lot less damage from, well, a lot, of, a lot of stuff here. Why are you suddenly silent? I thought you had, uh, you had a lot of say. Keep commentating on your actions. No, uh, yeah, okay. Um, so now I'm basically just using the beam. Everything seems to be on control. Nothing to do. Nothing. Some. Not. No one who needs to. I have a special urge to get healed. I'm just gonna pull, put Trauma Probe on Ariad. I'm gonna go after him because I know he's been playing aggressively most of this time. Uh, that's why I'm positioning myself here now. And also, it seems like we're pushing out, so I might as well just stand here. Problem now is that uh, I'm in a risky position because it's very easy to uh, get me locked down here because there's not a far way. There's not a far way between me and the healers. No, and, and the and the opponents. Um, Okay. Okay, what? This is an intense game, to be honest. Well, kind of, I don't know. I'm not dying. <laughs> so I have no clue. I haven't really been close to dying all this game, but... Um, oh, we have got so many healers. Yes, we seriously have a lot of healers. You could cleanse uh, these guys here, who are scared. Yeah. I'm very out of league now, actually. Also should really pay attention to the pylon because you never know. Although it looks like the whole enemy team is here, so shouldn't, yeah, but it's shouldn't possible really to reach it anyway. Shouldn't really be a problem. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we suddenly lose our pylon now. But anyway, it, I think if nothing happens in the next three seconds, we have uh, we have won this game. It was uh, really a good game. And uh, someone really attempted at our pylon, but uh, was a little bit too late. Yep. We've okay. done it. So that was. Uh, so let's look uh, at the stats. We got a couple of DPS, but of course, uh, the stats on the other team are very, very much lower. So this is it. This is it. 
Okay. Well, yeah. Um, thanks for having me here. It was really fun. And uh, thanks for the stream, guys. And I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the information. Um, yeah, and I... Uh, thanks for having me once again. I, I'll have to believe it. So. Yes, yes. It was really cool to have you, Ugin. I hope uh, you will join me on the stream sometime later as well, just for some uh, fun, regular fun, not this guide. And I hope... And you, you've really given a ton of useful info about Commando, and I feel like I've learned to play... Uh, I personally picked up a few interesting tricks, of course I will try to stick to your guidelines which you've given me, although of course uh, I, somewhere I disagree with you, but that's the beauty of this game, you can do uh, you can do a lot of things differently and you will still be right, of course, but um, yeah, your knowledge, your knowledge was awesome. So uh, thank you for joining me here, it was uh, quite a cool experience. Now I think you need to go play your ranked with MVPs. Yeah, soon. And I uh, wish you luck with that. Thanks. You I'll got it. You got you. any closing closing words? You got any shout-outs here? If, uh, if uh, feel free to feel free to say whatever you want before we uh, wrap this up. I suppose he doesn't have any closing words here. Uh, I just left Skype. Okay. Cool. So, guys, um, I think uh, this will be it for uh, today's uh, sort of Tuesday. I remind you, it was uh, called the best healer, and uh, I hope. Well, yes. Let's be honest. Combat medics are a kind of uh, are kind of gimped right now, of course. Uh, but they've got a very unique playstyle, and uh, it's very different from both uh, scoundrels operative as well as sages sorcerers. Um, they have to stay on the front lines, they have to constantly use their heals, uh, they have to kite, uh, a lot of interesting st stuff, so uh, if you are in for some challenge, uh, you can definitely go for Commander Healer and you will not be disappointed. And uh, that is also, uh, if you've got enough skill, a Commander Healer can definitely keep up with, uh, with, the both, um, with the both Sage and the Operative. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me take a quick look and uh, uh, at the other uh, at the chat here. I will be uploading this to YouTube as well as I um, uploaded uh, a new commentary video, which you should definitely check out as well. So, um, I think this is it. Uh, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, of course, at youtube.com slash dailypvp, as well as this channel, twitch.tv slash dailypvp, uh, Facebook and Twitter, where I post all my updates at slash... Uh, uh, I don't really like uh, hate here, so sorry about it. Do not spark hate wars. Uh, this, this doesn't really... Uh, this doesn't really help anyone. Uh, so guys, follow, like, uh, and I'll see you in my future videos. Of course, um, a lot of cool content coming in the future, so stay tuned for that. Let me uh, swap music to something, uh, to something else here. There we go. See you later. And stay safe, of course. Kisses. Mwah.